with no transaction, there's no transformation. Ooh, there we but go. That's facts. But it's really just like I always say this too, and no shots to nobody, but if you if you run if you ain't got enough gems to give mm. and you running out of gems, then you really just not that person in that space. Like I could talk about YouTube till I'm blue in the face, bro, and still have more to say. Like if you really know your industry and you're really good at it and you're really the expert you say you are, you should be able to give a limited game and it not even hold you back. I can give somebody a million dollar play right now and still have some crazy game to give away. Damn. Like literally, bro. And they're not gonna do nothing with it because like I said, no transaction, nope. no transformation. <laughs>
Um, but I learned fast that, yo, every time I need to make a video, I got to <laughs> drop some cash on a, on a Jordan That's sneaker. Good. And I got to make sure I win. I'm on Adidas Confirmed app trying to tap the joint to win. Like, bro, crazy, right? So, of course, I figured out, you know what, that's that's not scalable. I got to figure out something else. And I'm spending the time on GTA, like, gaming and stuff. So I'm like, yo, what if I put all that passion and time into doing that on YouTube? And then that took off for me. My first the, video. Yeah. The gaming took off. Yeah, the gaming was what, like, got me in the game. Like, I, it, it taught me life. No like pun intended. The yeah. gaming is what got me in the game. Yeah, you feel me? Like, real talk. Like, it really did. Because, like, from me jumping in that way, I learned so much about the platform. Mm -hmm. I learned how to go viral. I learned how to how to uh, get in front of audiences. I learned how to, you know, constantly, you know, stay consistent with the content and everything. Right. So, yeah, nah, that was, that that, that game taught me a lot before I really just dove into, like, the whole YouTube automation side of the business. Damn. Yeah. Let's get this shit popping, man. Yeah. Sheesh. Yo, yeah. this is one of them money episodes, man. This is one of them <laughs> ones, man. Yeah, What's popping? Sure. You know what time it is. Your boy, J Hill. I'm in the building. J Hill Podcast. We got David Omari in the building. It's good, man. Uh, YouTube automation. Um... I mean, like four, five, maybe more than that. Plaques of like hundred k. You got one. You got a gold one, right? Yeah, got the a gold one like, is a mill, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, we about to get another silver one too. Ooh, we talking big money. Yeah. It's hey, y'all know. Tap into the audio right now. I'm talking like one of them. Uh, one of them. Uh, they be doing the courses. And tap into the audio right now. If you watching this, turn the video off. Tap into the audio. Yo, y'all know how I get when I get the entrepreneurs on the show. It's gonna be one of them shows, and I'm a. I'm going to see what he really know. I'm about to see what he really, Ooh. how much game he about to give out. Ooh, All that core shit, I'm not trying to hear none of that. This ain't your average, typical podcast. I ain't trying to hear none of that. You know what I'm saying? I want all the game right here. You feel me? Somebody got a laptop in his mouth. We are gonna get all the game oh, right me, here, man. man. Oh, David Omari is in the building. What's up? Yo, man. Appreciate you for having me, bro. And hey, I really want you to. I want you to test me, bro. Because yeah. I know you on a YouTube play too. Yeah, so I want you to yeah. ask me questions and just just test me, bro. Man, I don't, man. Listen, I want yeah. the game. I want. My, I want somebody. Cause you know I was talking to uh mm -hmm. uh ah damn Smitty and um That's my boy shout out Smitty man. and Ramel right yeah, Ramel too yeah, uh yeah. so. Uh, so that's uh, what is Ramel Instagram? Something guru, mogul lifestyle. Mogul, mogul lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was talking to Smitty and, and um and Ramel, mogul lifestyle, yeah. and like, I was asking them like, yo, give me the play, and they were so open to giving a game on on, on a podcast, and I was yeah. wondering like, yo, why y'all so open if y'all got the class and it might be taken away from your class? He was like, yo, because honestly, bro, mm -hmm. they gonna hear this, and most of the time they not even going, they yeah, not even no, going. The with no transaction, there's no transformation. There we but go. That's facts. But it's really just like I always say this too, and no shots to nobody. But if you if you run if you ain't got enough gems to give, mm. and you running out of gems, then you really just not that person in that space. Like I could talk about YouTube till I'm blue in the face, bro, and still have more to say. Like if you really know your industry and you're really good at it, and you're really the expert you say you are, you should be able to give a limited game and it not even hold you back. I can give somebody a million dollar play right now. And still have some crazy game to give away. Damn. Like, literally, bro. And they're not going to do nothing with it because, like I said, no transaction, nope. no transformation. All right, let's get into it, man. So, all right, you started you started doing the games, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, that really what got you in the game. Like yeah. you said, no pun intended. Yeah, nah. So, my first viral video. So, I posted a video, got 100 views. And I was like, man, I ain't got no subscribers on this channel. Mm -hmm. I, keep my, I ain't know nothing about algorithms, nothing. I just was like, yo, I posted a video I thought it was cool, right? And it, and it did something. Let me try it again. So it waited. I waited a month. I kind of studied the market to see, like, you know, why were people clicking on this video and who are my competitors? What you was doing studying? Come on, man. Come on. Give me, come so, on. So look, this is how I studied, right? I was making GTA money videos, helping people get money in the game, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm over here looking at all these channels like, okay, this channel got, you know, million views on this, million views on this topic, on this topic, on this topic. I'm like, I'm going to do exactly what they did. And so I did it. And then my uh, what second- What was they doing? Hold up, hold up, slow <laughs> down. What, what, what was they doing? So all they basically was doing was they were leveraging the 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 time span that they was doing the videos on. So they would make a 10 minute video, but the way they were doing it was they would save the best piece for last. Like they would walk them through the whole entire like money guide, mm -hmm. but at the end is where like they had the actual guide. My first video, I gave them the money. I mean, I gave them the play right away, right? right. So I learned retention. I learned watch time. I learned average viewer duration. I didn't know what that was at the time, but just from visually seeing it, I'm like, okay, that's why this video is going viral because everybody watching it, commenting and all that, right? And they were doing like little tactics like, you know, subscribe to my channel, like this video if you want more money, guys, X, Y, and Z. So I'm taking note of all of that. 
So the second time I tried on that Before channel. Before we get to the second time. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> like, so, yo, that. how do we, how, how, <laughs> how, as a consumer, how do we make this right. consumer friendly too, right? Because, like, let's say I want to mm. learn how to put a dresser together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I don't want to wait to the end to put the dresser together. Give me, like, y'all like, take it forever. Yeah, yeah But is that, is that counterproductive for the creator? Like, how do, how do we make a, a, um, how do we make a medium where it works for both of us? Right. So, I mean, it's simple, really, just I always say this, right, about YouTubers and just anybody that's starting or anybody even in the consumer, right, that never did it before. As long as you have a competitor, you have a blueprint. Mm. So I'm speaking from that. Like when I said I was over here researching and doing all that, okay. all I really was doing was looking in the search engine, typing in my topic, seeing what came up, whatever was most popular, whatever was getting the most clicks. Essentially, all I did was watch that video and see how they got it, got that result, and then I went and implemented it on my channel. And okay. It worked. Second video. My bad. Come on. Second video. We throw it up. In two weeks, to get half a million views. Keep in mind, never had that kind of viewership online or anything. Um, video ended up making like $5,000 over time, Damn. right? Um, and so after I seen that, I was like, bro, you know what I'm saying? This is crazy. And then from there, I just never stopped uploading videos on YouTube. Damn. Right. And so then I got to a point to where I had a channel that had half a million subscribers, another channel that had 200,000 subscribers. Um, and then from there, I was just like, yo, I'm spread thin. Like, I want to make more money. I want to spend more time with my family, but there's no way I can do both. So how in the world am I going to figure out a way to scale this business without it demanding me? And so that's when I discovered this whole YouTube automation thing. Keep in mind, I didn't really know it was called YouTube automation, but I just knew, like, you know, I played around with hiring video editors sometimes. I hired thumbnail artists sometimes when I just didn't have the time to do it myself. So I said, what if I just took the whole process and broke it down and, you know, got people to do it for me? So I did that. Um, and, you know, it, it went crazy for me, man. Like the first month, nothing happened when I tried out YouTube automation. And so it was a it was another gaming venture I went into. So it was like my first dive and endeavor into YouTube automation. I get this channel, right? I make this new channel. The game Fortnite came out. Mm. And so I'm like, yo, I'm not good at this game, but it's mad people good at this game getting crazy views. And I'm seeing it happen before my eyes. You seeing the biggest, seeing Ninja Clips, Myth, all these like big, big like streamers. And I'm like, man, they getting mad views. And, and I realized, I was like, these not even, they, this not their channel. Like, mm. they not posting that. Like, it's a lot of people posting their stuff. And so I leveraged that. I seen that, and then I implemented it, but I hired a whole team to do it. So I'm like, yo, go find these clips. Every time they stream something and something happened in the game, go find these clips, bring it back, let's make a video, voice actor. Um, we didn't really use scripts at the time, but like voice actor, throw a video editor, and let's get a thumbnail artist. Bro, second month, the channel made $70,000. Damn. Bro, to my biggest month, making $142,000, and that's just ad revenue. I'm not talking brand deals, sponsorships. If we add brand deals and sponsorships, that's like three to 400000 off of that channel in that single month, bro. Yo, wait, so... We got to step back because it's yeah. a lot. <laughs> Hold up. One, the first thing that popped in mind is uh, you don't get flagged for um, like copyright, copyright infringement. infringement. So it's this thing called the Fair Use Copyright Law. You can use any content as long as you transform it. How do we transform it? We throw a voice actor on it. We mm -hmm. add effects and edits on the video. We, you know, we just make we make it more original, like as if we had the content, but we add something to it. So, like a remix almost. Kind right, of. but adding value. I don't know if you know um, Flight Reacts. You ever heard of Flight Reacts? YouTuber, he reacts to just mad videos, right? And so that's almost like what we're doing. We're, we're making not a reaction, but just adding value to the content. So now that's considered covered under fair use, mm. right? Almost like the TMZs when they be recording people and using all this content to like put stuff out, but they're adding like feedback to it. They're adding all these edits and, you know, voiceovers and all this, whatever. So it's fair use now. So YouTube can't, people can try, but for the most part, YouTube will say, oh, this is considered fair use because they, they changed up the content. They didn't just download it and upload it. They took it and added value to it. Damn, this is crazy. Okay, all right, all right let's take a yeah. step back. So. You you start off right, um, playing the games, and you learn how to. Your first one ain't do shit, right? You was like, man, you ain't know what you're doing. You you go back to the drawing board. You get yeah. to studying. Second video, you says you made like five bands over time. Yeah, over a span right. of time. Mm -hmm. At what time? At what moment when it was like, yo, all right, I need to make more money, but save some more time. Like at what time in the yeah. career? What was your peak? I guess how much money did you make at that moment? So, it, so. The transition was just being spread thin and just in a time in my life where I was just like under a lot of pressure. Wifey got pregnant. Mm. I'm I'm like, bruh, 
I got to figure it out. Like, this is doing good, but it ain't doing great. Like, I'm not a millionaire yet. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and that wasn't really the motivation. It just, I just had a passion for it. But, I, you know, you wanted to reach that. You want to reach that goal. But, um, yeah, to fast forward to, like, just my peak, that channel ended up making a mil in a year. Um, and also with that channel, it got over a billion views or almost a billion views. Damn. So that was like my biggest accolade on YouTube with that channel. Now, we don't upload on the channel anymore because, you know, Fortnite ain't where it used to be. And it was a great time. But we still got, you know, we still got channels that we, we going crazy. How many at. channels you got now? <sighs> Let me see my phone. I I really don't know how many I got. But for social proof, I you know what I'm saying? And we don't we don't reveal the channels. I never say that on podcasts, okay. but I'm saying it because my yeah, boy yeah, Jay, yeah, is yeah. A, it's an exclusive with I'm Jay. I'm curious. We don't reveal channels because what happens is is everybody looks for everybody else's content. And if anybody finds out what David Omari's channels are, oh, it's over for me. They about to copy all my stuff. Let's see. But I got, bro, these up, I got see. mad, bro, mad, uh, bro, mad channels, bro. But my main ones that I that I be on is this one with 60,000. This is the newest one we got that we just started. Um, we started in January, and it's going crazy, bro. Like, I'm going to show you right now. Just go to Rev. Wait. And so you can see where we started this Let channel. This Keep in mind, bro, I don't. I don't make none of those videos. Uh huh. They cost me forty two dollars to make each video. This is four point four k. I'm looking at. Hold yeah, up, hold yeah, up. Yeah. Look at the look. Oh at yeah, I'm, the I'm looking. I'm yeah, looking. I'm yeah, looking. Yeah. I'm looking. This twenty twenty three. This oh, not oh. no old. No nah, old. Facts. This ain't no old. This is that, okay. You know what January I'm saying? is, is six ninety one. The first month though. Damn. February is five. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Minus the first month to the second month. Yeah. Okay. I would have to do the math on that. God damn. So the second month. I'm gonna just right. say the second month is uh fifty four hundred. Right. March is seven bands. Yeah. April is five bands. Right. Uh, May is fifty five hundred. June is ongoing, so it's at three. But we it's at three thousand. But we still got like uh, maybe yeah. a, what it's a week and a half. It's gonna be at like five. We don't. We only upload like five to seven videos on that on that channel per month. So it may be there. Five to seven videos. Yeah, there bro. gotta be some marketing behind. Like, bro, it, look, 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 look. I literally will show you because we just is, and I gotta really get into the game to like really give you like the sauce for real, but. This video we posted yesterday, you can see what it's already at. And it's a two out of ten. It's not even like the best, you know, performing video. But it's going okay, crazy. Okay, 51K. Yeah. It's only Keep in mind, bro, I don't know that niche. I don't know nothing about it, bro. I don't know nothing about it. Like that, that is not that has nothing to do with me. I told my team, yo, we need to figure out this new channel. They said this is a good niche. Let's let's dive into it. Wait, hold and up, it went hold crazy. Up. It's got fifty thousand views, right? Yeah. And how and how many hours? Yeah. Like twenty four, right? So, yeah. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? 2,200. I mean, 222. Yeah. Yeah, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? We we really do this is basically what I'm trying to say. Like, it, it, it it's, it's something that I'm always going to do. Wait, so hold up. No, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see all these channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me I, show listen, you. Listen, y'all know I'm the one. I'm calling this out. Yeah, all the finesses, these scammers right. calling this out. So, I'm going right. to let y'all know if it's real. Right. Show me your channels. This is the one. This is the that's one the, channel. Show me another one. Okay, I'm gonna just read out the subscribers. Four hundred seventy thousand. I don't need to know the subscribers. I want to see. Show me. Let me see the channels. Yeah, yeah. Go, look. Go to the revenue. Revenue nine hundred. This one. All right, go to another. Ain't one. going crazy. This is the one I told you went crazy. We don't upload on no more. Two point seven million. Revenue three dollars. Nothing crazy, right? Okay. Let me see. This is legit stuff. Yeah, all legit. Let me see the next one. Let me see. Just a random one. Just go to a random. I don't yeah, I got you. It. I got you. I got you. I'm it don't have to one. be a million dollars. No, no, no. Two, two hundred forty-three thousand. Make it three hundred dollars. And this, this channel. But you got a lot, bro. Look, I'm gonna show you something on this channel though, which is crazy. This video was uploaded three hundred and seventy-nine days ago. It has almost a million views. This is the last video we posted on this channel. It has almost a million views, right? Keep in mind that's over a year ago. Look at how much money passively. This channel's been making just in the past year, bro. Without even posting. Every man. single month. I ain't post a video in over 379 days. Yeah. 200, bro. 235, 233, 244, 276, that's, bro, 263. That's cardio. Yeah, is, yeah. That's light bills. That's, bro. Yeah. And I ain't even touching that channel. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. 
we probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Damn. So, I mean, like I said, bro. Yo, okay. So let's get into it then. Um, you got these channels. Like how, how, how do we... How do we get, how, if I want to do this, like how do I get started doing this? So the first thing you need to do is you need to decide your niche. The topic mm -hmm. you're going to make your, your videos about, right? So once you get your topic, let's just say NBA videos, mm -hmm. right? Now it's time for you to make the channel, optimize it for the topic, right? Adding the tags, everything that's going to make it, you know, populate when people search up, whatever your niche is. From there, you need to hire a script writer. So you go on Fiverr or Upwork. Upwork is probably better because you can kind of name your price and you can post your actual job like listing. Mm -hmm. Fiverr is more so quick. You could just go and, and like hire them right on the spot, mm -hmm. right? So Fiverr, you get Fiverr, Upwork, you get your script writer. Next, you have to get a narrator or a voiceover artist, right? That's going to literally sit there and read the script or narrate the script for the video. After that, you then go and get your video editor who's going to take the script because the script sometimes has links in it for mm -hmm. reference. So they can add it to the video. The video editor is going to put the script or take the script as for a reference and use the voiceover to put the clips together to make the video. Right. Next, you're going to get the thumbnail artist. Once you get the thumbnail artist, they're going to make that picture that goes over the video. Now, most people think the thumbnail is like nothing. They don't think about yeah, it. They don't look at it. Super important. And it's super important. And I always say this. It's literally like the cover of a book. Nobody's ever going to go in a library, just pick up a book, start reading it like this. They got to see the thumbnail. I mean, they got to see a cover of the book. They got to read the summary on the back, right, before they even decide if they're going to read it. Mm -hmm. Same with Netflix. Nobody about to just click on a movie and start watching it. Yeah, no, right. They got to watch the trailer, read who's in the movie before they decide to click it. But people don't see it like that on YouTube. They just see it as, like, just something you just got to add to your video when you're optimizing it. But it's super important because once you get that thumbnail, right, like I said, it's literally like that. But people subconsciously see it on the feed and they decide – Way before they even click it, if they're going to click it, even though they don't say it out loud or think it is. But subconsciously, they see the colors, they see whatever they're interested in, they see what they're looking for. What's the and best they color they use? I, I wouldn't even really say. I mean, red is the best marketing color. So, yeah. I mean, red is cool, but it really just depends on your topic and the audience that you're targeting because there are certain colors and things. You know what I'm saying? If we have a Lakers niche and we know that we got Laker fans that's watching the video yellow and purple right that's what we sticking with right so i would say it really just depends on the topic that you're doing but after that you upload and optimize the video so you got to get your title together you got to get your um description right your tags your um just really just making sure the video is optimized for every part of youtube so if your video is going to primarily be optimized in a search engine the size of it may be smaller when people look at or maybe a, a slightly bigger if you're um, looking to optimize it for your sub fee when people subscribe to your channel, right? They're going to see it on the sub fee, so it's going to be a lot bigger. So you don't have to put so many. You can put a little more detail into the thumbnail, right? Mm -hmm. Opposed to it being less detail, less words or writing. I personally don't like putting words on the thumbnail, but everybody, you know, there's a lot of people that do it and get results. So I'm not going to say that. Don't do that. But also, you got to think about the suggested feed and the browse features. On the suggested feed on the side, people see it very small, mm. So when you see videos like that, you have to make sure if you're optimizing for suggested, it has to have less detail in the thumbnail, but still like have a main like point of angle. Mm -hmm. I always say people have to spark curiosity in the thumbnail. Right. Because people are going to ask the question. They if, if your thumbnail asks a question, then it's amazing because now people are curious and it's going to make them click on it. Right. If it sparked curiosity, if your title sparks curiosity, people are going to be more prone to click on your video. And that's where we talk about that click through click through rate, which is your CTR. Right. Right. And so I personally say, you know, I like a lot of people say six to seven percent is average, but literally, bro, I'm going to show you right now. I'm looking at my shit now. Yeah, I'm about to leave. show you right now. So you go like right here. So posted this video like three weeks ago, got 92,000 views. It's ranked number one and the CTR is 14.6 percent. So I'm going to just show you the reach. So you go overview and then you go to reach. And then you go here. So all this number means is the amount of people who saw this video to the amount of people that actually clicked it. So this video 
almost half. So 458,000 people saw this video, mm -hmm. but only 92,000 people clicked on it. All right, so that's what a we looking high at? CTR. So what are we looking at? Because you're teaching me some shit now. Yeah, yeah. All right, where am I? I'm, I'm, I'm in my dashboard. So go to your dashboard. Right. Go to uh, Reach. Reach, yeah. Okay. And then slide over one. Slide over one. And then you, your percentage is right there. Okay, so. Are you looking at a specific video or the entire channel? It's a specific video. Okay. So what's the C what's the CTR if you don't mind? So I don't mind. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, not the impressions, the click through rate. The percent, yeah. The percent is my shit is only at four percent. Damn. So yeah, it. I mean, with the content you doing though, uh -huh. typically that's actually good because I was talking to Shans and he was like, bro, like sometimes it be like two percent. I'm yeah. like, and I'll be telling him like, bro, like it's like there's mad people out there that's getting crazy high ones because he no, didn't give game like so like because he was telling me like we were talking and he was like he was like bro he was like. How are you getting fifteen percent CTR? Yeah, I'm like, that's, that's my that's my guy. Shout out to Shans, man. No, that's my guy. And I was like, bro, I'll literally show you. And so I showed it to him. He was like, yeah, it's fifteen percent. Yo, like, cause my shit say I got it say one point four million impressions, right? Yeah. But then I click over, say four percent. Like it's like, yeah. Ugh. But it's it's dependent on the niche you're in. So like, would you consider like your topic like more business or like entertainment? Mine style? is more like, so entertainment. Entertainment, kind of, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So it really depends on that for real too. I heard so, business gets you like the business market. Business make you more money, but business impressions is lower and it's less people. Cause oh, okay. yeah, it's it's but the money is crazy. I had a homie he had like a two hundred dollar RPM, which is the revenue. Damn, yeah, that's bro. crazy. Yeah, bro, he was going crazy. He was eating, and it was on drop shipping. Two hundred per thousand views. Yes, bro. And it was on drop shipping video, bro. That's crazy. I was like, bro, you making me want to make drop shipping Yo, you videos. do 50,000. Even if you do, like, that's crazy. I had homies making crazy bread, bro. Like, insane bread. Like, numbers that you would just, it would make you really question what you're doing for a living. Like, bro. All right, so what I do here, right? Yeah. We got this, Um, you got a, you got a course? So, uh, I I got a free workshop that people can show up to, and if they want to get into the program, they can. Mm -hmm. But we also are really like, you know, primarily getting ready for this five day event where it's gonna the be the five day event. Yeah, That's what I want to talk yeah, about. Yeah. Okay, cool. Before I get there though, it's something that you always see in your video, and I call it Cap. I Cap on what? I Cap? call it Cap. Come on, challenge me, bro. I feel like it's a business, uh, a business tactic. Yeah, but I feel like it's super smart because the first thing I noticed when you said this is like, yo. So I got this. Uh, all you gotta do is you know click the link, and I don't really um I don't mentor everybody, but if if you put if you get your, if you put your name, I don't in mentor it, everybody, bro. I feel, I all right. Yeah. I mean, you probably no, don't. No, no, no. Like, like I tell you, I'll be who, be you, who you turn you turn down people. I turn down mad people, bro. <laughs> you want me? To <laughs> look, what bro, was last person you turned down? I'll tell you this, bro. I'll tell you a story, bro. Look at this, bro. This is funny. It's gonna sound crazy, but I'm real like particular, bro. This man got was on a call with one of my sales reps. She said, yo, I want to fly David to, I think he was in Texas. I want to fly David to Texas, sit down and have dinner with him. Mm -hmm. I'll pay him $100,000. Damn. I said, no. For what? Why, do I, why am I going to waste my time? Why am I going to get up, leave my family, leave my kids, my wife, go to Texas, sit down and have dinner for what? So we can talk about, come on. Right. Do Don't get me wrong. Phone. You could you could come to, to the A. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. And I'm like, like, bro, that don't that don't impress me. Like, people be wanting to like, and I'm not arrogant enough like that. Like, I, I like kicking it with people, but I'm just real particular, like where my time goes, and and is it really being spent in a way that is gonna elevate me, or is it just you know? Cause then I feel like a prostitute, like you just paying me for my, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? But yeah, but I but be a but, prostitute for but nah, <laughs> like like nah, like for real though. Like, there's certain people that now. For the courses and stuff, we don't turn nobody away. That's that's open to everybody. But the mentorship, bro, like, I'm big on people getting results, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I want people to really come in and, and go crazy. And I really need to know that, like, you know, you're going to put the work in to get the result. Because at the end of the day, not only does it make your life better, change your life, but it make it make me look good, too. It's impact. I, I you know just felt like when you said it, I just instantly, I, I think I might have heard that. And that was, like, towards the end before I seen the, the plaques, before, I, like, everything. It was, yeah. like, it just Stood out. Oh, you like, talking about the YouTube video? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, I don't mention yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody. All you gotta do, but yeah. and I'm like, maybe that's just make people want to do it even more. Yeah, like, I don't nah. Mention, you said that, every video. In that video, that was more so like a yo know, click the link type of. That was the. I thought you were talking about my ads or something, but what? oh no no no. On nah. YouTube, I think you said every video at, at the yeah, end. Yeah, look, you just click link mentorship. I don't mention everybody though. Yeah, so yeah facts. If you lucky, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll get with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But we are we are super particular with it. Like I be turned down bread all day, bro. Okay. Because I just. I don't want clients that want to get rich overnight. 
I don't want clients that expect, you know, it to be sunshine and rainbows. Like you have to be realistic, you have to be ethical, and I'm big on integrity. But why not, bro? You I just you just told me your story. Yeah. Your, your second video, five thousand dollars over time. First like yeah. uh first month when you really dived in, seventy thousand dollars. But that's not a that's not a typical result. I had a student that made forty two thousand dollars off of a, a single video in two months. I don't even I don't be telling people that like that. Like, I do tell people, but I don't like I don't say you about to come in a in a joint and make nah, bro. Cause so that's what's the what, average then? What's realistic? If I got somebody out there that's watching, that's like, yo, right. I need some bread. What's realistic? Realistic is the first month, the first thirty days. Realistic, cause we you we you come in. Most of my clients are getting monetized in like two weeks, mm -hmm. and they just lowered the monetization threshold. Yeah, to so five hundred subscribers yeah. now. It's crazy. Right, so you can go crazy getting the program. Right, so we getting that in two weeks. The first 30 days, so that's let's just say 15 days in. Mm -hmm. The next 15 days, you should be at least making your first 100 to a thousand dollars from what we teaching you. Mm. That's realistic. Now, if you one of them superstars in the, you know what I'm saying, you make 5k. Like I had somebody come in the program, um, and they first month was 5k. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, realistically, so, you can make what a thousand dollars a month. No, realistically on YouTube, it, it, the sky's the limit. I'm just I saying mean, in yeah. the very beginning, like realistically, what what we teach people to do is make five to 10k per month. Like that's like our average, mm -hmm. but we do have those superstars that come in and go crazy. I had another person um, who came in a program, he made four hundred. I mean, not four hundred. He made two hundred thousand dollars in four months. So wait, all right. So realistic, you say you. One but thing you, realistically, that that number is really five to ten k. Okay, that's so, typical. Like in what a few months. In a few months, yeah. Okay, but is it, it does it go down over time? Because I keep hearing you saying in the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning. No, no, no. It, if you stay consistent and you constantly feeding, you know, YouTube, it's going to keep going up, right? Mm. That's as long as you get views, it's going to keep going up. But I'm just saying in the beginning as far as, because people like to jump into stuff and, and, and I'm not big on telling people. I'm big on, listen, I got a, I got a blueprint mm. and a roadmap. This is what got me here. X, Y, and Z, you implement it, it can do the same for you. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hold up, I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. You got a a, a five day um, virtual event. That, virtual yeah, event, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube automation conference. YouTube automation conference, yeah, right? Yeah. I want all the game. Yeah, you I got said you. said without what was the word? What was the saying? If niggas don't pay for it, yeah, basically, no transaction, no transformation. All right, That's cool. Just what it is? So I need, I want. Give me this five day event, right? Yeah, bro. I want yeah, the game yeah. each day. I want if I want somebody to be able to be like. To be able to debunk that theory of no trans, no, no transaction, no transformation. I want somebody to be able to debunk that. I want somebody to be like, yo, I actually watched the interview. I did what he said, yeah. and I'm up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, look, day one. Day one. Let's mindset go. of a successful YouTuber, mm -hmm. right? So, we're going to break down, like, what that looked like, okay? What it looked like. So, most people, what happens is when they get on YouTube is they start to make that money. Mm. But they're like nine. They have the nine to five mindset. They work in, you know, what I'm saying paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. So when they make that first amount of they, that first money, it's like lottery money to them. And we know what we say about lottery money. You, you spend it, you probably go crazy, go on, okay, right? Yeah, yeah. So same thing with YouTube money. You have you not gonna be able to fathom you making money from social media. Mm -hmm. So the mindset of a successful YouTuber, understanding how to actually have longevity on a platform, because a lot of YouTubers don't have longevity. That's something that a lot of people say like is the issue with YouTubers that show they face the longevity of their career just it just doesn't live on, mm. right? And so breaking down you know growth in subscribers, growth in revenue, um, and just really just no nah, break it down. We got yeah, time, yeah, nigga. Yeah. We got time. Okay, we, we go there. Growth Look. in growth in uh the first right. thing you said was growth in uh growth in subscribers. Growth in learning subscribers. the best tactics to actually grow an audience and and kind of almost build a cult following. How do we do that? Easy. This the game. Give me the give, give me the super, right here. Super high qual not super high quality, but like content that's so good that delivers that value that makes the viewer almost want to binge watch you. Mm. Right? And just giving the viewer what they want. Like I always say this in the first five seconds of your video, you need to be saying exactly what they came for. Cause if not, you already losing the viewer. Right. So if you can keep them in the video for a long time and then at the very end, the last 10, 15 seconds before your outro, you're like, hey, if you enjoyed today's video, I would love for you guys to become a subscriber, X, Y, and Z, because now you earn the subscriber. Mm. You didn't just tell them to subscribe in the beginning of the video. Hey, subscribe to my channel. Like, they don't know why to subscribe, right? But you gave them that valuable content. You gave them something that they really enjoy. Now, guess what? Now, at the end, now they're like, okay, I'm going to subscribe because like right. he earned my subscription mm. type. So, gaining subscribers and growth. Like Three three, three different type of contents that's, that, that will give me 
great subscribers and growth, I guess? Like, what's the top three that... Tutorial, how-to content is okay. always going to... Because it lives forever on YouTube, and people are always looking up how to do stuff. Um, can I do that automated, though? I have to do oh, that. Oh, yeah, you can do that automated. You can automate that. That's easy. So I just find somebody much. else some, somebody right. else how to right. put my spin on it Right. the team. Right. Right, okay, cool. you can that's easily, one. yeah, yeah. That's 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 not a problem. You can really automate any. You could you could do YouTube automation with any niche. But second thing, so I said how to tutorials. Second thing is always just going to be based around like entertainment. But to go more in detail with that, in a video game or in a sports niche or in a luxury niche, like excuse me, something that's just like super entertaining and it's super niche down to a specific audience that it's just like I don't mean like I mean, fragrance. Not even like that, bro. It's more so like I, I can think about it, but I can't describe it. It's like having a pile of people. So say, for example, you have a topic, right? And these people really like that topic. Say we're talking about this Bel Air bottle right here, right? Mm -hmm. Mad people like this, right? Let's just say they did some type of niche around this, right? If you can get into that space and actually get in front of that audience to keep on clicking on your videos, that's like a really like good spot to be in that channel I showed you. We in a really good niche spot. It ain't no broad topic. It could right? be like something as much as like, I don't know, trucks. Because like yeah. some people are into trucks or some shit like that. Like right. four by four or some shit. Right. Like Sometimes people want to go super broad, which is good at the beginning to figure out what your audience really likes. But I learned that niche and down. So and even trucks is broad. Yeah, that's broad. You have to go down like like a trucking business is niche down. Or a, uh, even getting more detail in that, a pickup truck business or a... You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, whatever they call it, flatbed trucking business. Like, that's super niche down to a specific audience of people that watch that style of content. Okay. All right. Uh, one more. One more. So, I said the entertainment. I said tutorial. It's kind of like covering that. I want to say if you want to make a lot of money, it's, it's going to be a grind, but it's going to be worth it. The finance niche. Mm-hmm. The finance type of content, like so, I just steal David Shan shit. Uh, <laughs> I, I throw it up. I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that, you know what I'm saying. I mean, Graham Steven does some really. He's not all. He's not faceless, but there's a lot of like channels that make like this AI content now, where it's like how to make money with AI and X, Y, and Z, and it's faceless. Like they don't, Damn. they don't show their face. They just automate the whole process. So that's definitely like top three right there. So okay. how to tutorial content, uh -huh. which is kind of a variety of content, entertainment. Right. And then also just like some type of business or finance content, because it's just going to make way more money than any other niche. This ain't for me, man. This is this is for my people, bro. Right. I really care about my my my, my, uh, my viewers. Yeah, I got you. still on day one. I ain't done. All right. So you said the first mm -hmm. topic was uh the um gaining a, a meaningful sub subscribers, subscribers, right. subscribers. Right. Right. What was the second part we talked about? It? We still on so day one. we the first the first day in general is just the mindset of a successful YouTuber. Right. right. So learning your audience. Understanding the video analytics, like understanding your analytics. How do I learn my audience though? So if I, I'm just starting. I don't know. <laughs> so we break. So we gonna break down like what the analytics are. I'm getting this motherfucking game. <laughs> yeah, we gonna break down what the audience is. Like we gonna break all of that down. We are gonna visually show you like you know what this audience is. How like, break it down? How do you do it? All the videos, all the videos on a specific channel, mm -hmm. you can usually tell what kind of audience is watching that content. So back to the NBA thing. If we know that mad people watching LeBron James highlights and LeBron James videos, mm -hmm. we know what kind of audience that is. So we know how to title those videos so that the audience looks up those keywords and get the views on that channel. Okay. So dialing in on the audience, but really just like that's a part of learning the analytics, like going through each tab, your reach, your, um, you know, their audience tab. Pretty much every single thing over there, the overview, the revenue, breaking it all down so they understand like, you know what these terms mean because a lot of times people don't even know what terms mean like i say ctr that sounds like rocket science to somebody right so on day one we breaking it down so let's like, break it down then come on yeah come on, come on. Let's break it down yeah. what are we doing so, so somebody will create because they don't have youtube yeah. they would just create the youtube they would create their youtube channel they would create the youtube um right. all right so where do we start i guess so once you once you start your channel number one you're going to decide what your name is mm -hmm. right whatever topic or niche you want to be and that's really the first step right getting your niche once you get your niche then you make your channel you make your channel then from there, you put the topic and everything, and then that that's kind of skipping over a day because team building is not in the first day, but you will have your channel made to where, you know, once we do do the team building, you'll be able to do it. But let's just say, for example, you had your team built, mm -hmm. right? Now, you don't have any videos on a brand new channel, but if you did have videos, right, then we can go through those reach tabs and all that stuff and basically break down exactly what that is for you. But we're still going to break it down because I'm going to have a channel open showing them okay. what it is, like okay. demonstrating it, not just talking and telling them. Like it's gonna be super interactive. 
So let's demonstrate this shit. Yeah, let's, come like, on. Let's demonstrate this shit, man. Yeah, bro, like, come on. And we're going to say it so they can... Yeah, look, facts. I'm already in it. breaking this motherfucker down. Oh, yeah, all the way down to the ground. <laughs> so look. Right, look we, hey, my man is... My man, look, I got David Omari here, right? Yeah. He's doing a five-day virtual... Conference. Uh, YouTube conference, automation right? conference, YouTube, yeah. YouTube automation class. Con conference. We're breaking it down right now. So essentially, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? So platinum... Is four ninety seven, which is the ultimate the best. You should do that because you also get a chance to win a MacBook, and you know you spend more time with me and X, Y, and Z, and you get to meet the surprise guest that I haven't mentioned. So what's yet. the basic? So the basic of it is really just having more access and how much is the basic package? Oh, basic ninety seven. All right, basically, my man is giving away a hundred dollars right now. Like this is we. Yeah. I'm taking money out of his pocket right now. He's 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 doing giving the game. So oh, yeah. Fact. Appreciate this, right? Yeah. All right, so cool. So you're gonna make the make the YouTube right. Channel. So we 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 act as if we already put a video up. Okay. Overview, right? Breaking down the views, the watch time, the subscriber gain, and the revenue. Explaining what this basically is. So the overview is basically just the hub of the whole over like you're just overseeing everything without going in detail what it is. Mm -hmm. Reach tab, right? That's where you see the CTR, which is the click through rate, the amount of impressions of people that actually clicked on your video, mm -hmm. right? So that's all that says, and then it shows your unique viewers as well. And unique viewers, you want to make sure you have a lot of unique viewers because the more YouTube sees more people tapping back into your content, the more they're gonna push it out. So then after that, we go to the engagement, right? So with the engagement, we have watch time, okay? And the watch time, it'll tell you if you have a gray area or you're over it. So on this video specifically, it's a line over it, so. It's doing pretty good, right? Break down what your watch time hours are to get monetized on YouTube. It's 4,000 watch hours to get the ads turned on, but now I believe it's 3,000 watch hours. Mm, or so, 500 subscribers. Or, no, Either it's one? and. It got to be and. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So and. So in this video alone, we already got three. We already got 3,000 watch hours, so that's good. Average viewer duration. Um, now, I always say you want to shoot for a 40 to 60% average viewer duration, you want people that's gonna be watching your videos to really like watch all of it because the more they watch it, the more they complete it, again, the more YouTube's gonna push it out because they're, the goal is on every social media platform is to keep people on the platform for as long as possible. So if YouTube sees a video where you keep them on for a very long time, they're gonna keep rocking with you and pushing it out. Where should we start the number as far as the, uh, the average? Um... Viewer duration. Long video, I guess. Like, how long should it be? Should it be eight at least to ten seven? minutes? Okay, eight to ten minutes. Eight minutes, you can put more ads in it. You okay. make more money from it. Okay. So everybody's gonna always do that. Just starting out. Um, you tell them this in the uh, yeah, okay. yeah, oh yeah. They okay. gonna know. <laughs> like, they gonna know all the tactics and stuff. Okay. But yeah, so eight minutes to ten minutes is a good start. Fifteen minute videos are good too. Um, the next tab though is the audience, so it shows your returning viewers and your newer viewers. Um, it's a blue line and a purple line. But the beautiful thing about it is if that purple line ever cross that blue line, right, YouTube really likes that. And so What's the purple like, line? What is that? So the purple line is your returning viewers. Okay. The blue line is the newer New, viewers. Okay. This is a lot harder to do. I'm not going to lie. This, this is very hard to get that line to cross over. But if you get it to cross over, it'll do really well. Mm -hmm. So after that, you have the unique viewers tool in the audience, and it just basically shows you the unique amount of people that's either, you know, watched the video or saw your channel or did something with your channel and engaged with it. So, you know, right here, we see the unique, unique viewers are 76,000 viewers that are unique, right? The subscriber count gain, the amount of new subscribers you gain, which is 702 subscribers on this video specifically. Mm -hmm. So we break down that. Um, it also breaks down the age, the gender, the gender, the geographies of where they're from and where they're watching. On this video, 56% are from the United States uh, and 9% is from the, Uni or the UK, so United Kingdom, right? And then it shows your not subscribed and subscribed. You typically wanna have more not subscribed than subscribed because it just shows that YouTube's pushing your channel out to new people. Okay. Now, revenue, right? So this video uh, posted on May 27th, it made $200 so far, so $273. Basically breaks down how much you made. It also breaks down, um, you know, watch pay ads, where the YouTube premium is. It breaks down your video's performance, right? And so it's telling me this video specifically is making $3 per thousand views. Um, and it's showing me the amount of views that it got that are actually monetized views. So these views are, it says 89500 and for every thousand, I got paid three dollars on top of that. And that's that is that your CP? That's the RPM, R RPM, okay. which is the revenue per mile for okay. per milestone or per milli. 
um, which is in French, I believe. Which and means rev how much money you make per thousand views. Per thousand views, okay. yeah. And then the how much advertiser pays, that's the CPM. So the advertiser's paying $6 per thousand views. Mm. And I'm basically getting 50% of that. Okay. Then after that, it's earnings by ad is type. Is that every YouTube video, or is that just specifically for what you Just videos? specifically for this video. Okay. So it varies for okay. different videos. But the 50%, is is that just a standard? So when you say you get $6, six, $6 somebody so might be that, $3. So that can vary. It depends. It, mm -hmm. it depends. I haven't seen it like be a straight 50%. Sometimes it's more. Sometimes it's less. How do you know if it's 50% or not? How do you know what you just, the percentage you just is? You just subscribe. <laughs> you just uh, divide the, the CPM number by the RPM number, and it'll give you that percentage of what it is okay but typically people don't look at that they just look at the uh rpm okay yeah okay so, yeah so Damn. that that's the whole that's the that's, whole dashboard right there like we just crazy. went through every Jeez. tab you know what i'm saying you smart the way you do this because you he get it everything, everything out bro, he like sitting there like i'm like dang i'm just giving it yeah, away bro, but I, it's not it's literally nothing to do that though it's like like it's really good like game okay i'm giving something so so okay first day we um damn we still on the first day that's what i'm saying like it's, it's a lot nah bro. it's fine it's cool it's cool it's cool bro it's just fine we're gonna do this we're gonna do this right all right so get a drink in a minute man. yeah yeah you want some uh we might nah, have to take is. a break Hot, where we at <laughs> we might, uh, what you want what you want nah, i'll probably do the bel air bro you want a bel air yeah um MJ, can you uh help us out, please, if you don't mind? Where we at, uh, Kyrie? Damn, yeah, we might. I'm gonna take a break over some food and some more shit. Yeah, it's gonna Come be. We're gonna make this a two hour episode. Hey, we're gonna get this motherfucking book. <laughs> hey, I'm not playing. <laughs> oh, me, bro. You want what? What? Are they clean? Sure. Yeah, I ain't know. Yeah, no, I don't know. I'd just yeah. rather be safe. Okay. All right, um, okay. First day, we uh. So this is the mindset of successful YouTuber. Okay, um, we talked about that. Basically, not blowing all your money. Right. Then we went to uh, day two. Wait, wait, wait. We still on day one. We're still on day one. Mindset of successful YouTuber. In day one, we talked about the growing mindset. the subscribe. The mindset growing the subscribers, and we also talked about the analytics, breaking down what everything means in the analytics because it's like it's like your human body, bro. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I always tell people like overviews like your brain the um reaches like your heart mm -hmm. x y and z if something happened you get sick and you don't go to the doctor what's gonna happen you're gonna die right same thing with your youtube channel if you're not paying attention to those analytics and you don't know what's going on guess what <laughs> your channel gonna die because you ain't paying attention so that's something that we have to break down immediately so people know um so, so now we are on what else we go through one and day one yep, yep. so that honestly that's probably that's probably pretty much around like the just the day one because i go really i'm gonna go really 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 deep on the uh on the analytics side and then just subscriber growth in general mm -hmm. um and so we probably wrap around there probably have like a, a well we, for vip we're gonna have like a, a deeper session too before how we much deeper in. can you get pause bro i ain't, ain't really deep right i ain't gonna lie like, what did we talk i'm just curious like what do we when you mm -hmm. say well, i'm gonna get deeper right like you yeah. just broke it down give me one so i don't have to go too crazy i want to but like give me all those thing. all those over all those like things i read and stuff like that like i can literally I'm literally going to like go like for example the click through rate. Okay. Breaking that down, showing them the actual thumbnail. Like, here's this. This is why this CTR is going to be high, right? Mm. Because this type of audience sees a specific thing, right? And they go crazy over it. And they now, can it. you manipulate that? Yeah. As a, a bro, what, bro? We uh, let's go back to the let's go back to the Lakers, right? How do we manipulate that? I, I'm, I I'm, got I'm a perfect example. Let me hold up. Let me pull up my Come NBA right, channel. See, let me pull up my NBA channel, Niggas. and I'm gonna let you hold the phone this time for this Niggas one. This is playing, bro. Hey, Kyrie, you might want to get a drink too, bro. We we, we gonna be here. We gonna oh, get this drink. I might have to be pulling up, on uh, bro. I, you got cups right there. Let me see. Am I logged into that joint? Yeah, we about to. Dang, I thought I was logged into it. Let me log into it. Uh, all it. right, it's fine. I ain't got to log into. I just search it up. <laughs> And so right now we're talking about how we're gonna manipulate the thumbnail so we can get a better click through rate, correct? Yes, sir. All right, bet. All right, show bet. Us. It popped up first too. All right, so this is a new, a really new channel, super small, but it's doing pretty good. Uh, NBA channel. So you see that first picture? Really, all those thumbnails. You see that first picture? Yeah, this is LeBron so, dunking on somebody. Who he dunking on? Steph Curry. Did that ever happen? Mm, I don't remember. That ain't happen. So that's how you can manipulate it. Okay. And it got seventy seven thousand views. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you see a lot of those thumbnails are like it, it we we call it clickbait. You know what I'm saying? Right. But we definitely do show like clips in the video where we talking about like LeBron James going against Steph Curry mm. or something like that. Right. So that's a way that you can do that, right? Making things look like they happened even though they didn't. 
right? Mm-hmm. But it's not. Some people will say, and it's it's a wrong way to do it, and it's a right way to do it. When you are doing like when you're doing it like that, where you're trying to make a story out of a thumbnail, and you say something happened, you can't do it to where the viewer is only clicking on it. Well, they're gonna click on it for that, but it's some people that will do that. And it like won't happen in the video at all. Like there, it won't even be anything close, mm. right? And you just robbed a viewer of their time. You can't do that. That's like scamming, right? Okay. So, the right way to do it, right, is I can do that, but I'm gonna have to show some type of altercation. Whatever happened between LeBron and Curry has to happen in that video. Okay. So, and then the play, <laughs> the play is to put it on that forty to sixty percent mark. So now the people are watching all the way to there and if you want to get even more like crafty you put a short clip of that in the beginning in the beginning mm. and then cut it cut it like into him. the intro i don't know about to cross him over the ah, yeah cut it. yeah the joint's crazy okay bro. okay so we got through day one Damn, this is this is crazy bro i could let's 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 let's, let's keep going bro yeah let's, let's go going. let's go let's go day um, two day two so day two i believe it is um monetization strategies and breaking down like the money i could be wrong i have to look no it look up. it up you yeah, probably got it come on man no i told you we got you we'll take a break if we got you bro we yeah got you, straight, let's bro. take your time man let's let's for the people if, i just want if somebody wants to be able to do this this is my goal for the interview yeah. if somebody wants to be able to do this and let's say they got you know a lot of people got excuses let's say they can't they don't have 400 or they don't have 100 dollars, right right and they really the have the drop, but they really serious about doing it. I want to be able to give them an opportunity to do it. Yeah, no, nah, they and then that's that's definitely I respect that, bro. But it's gonna like I said, this gonna be enough game for somebody to really get up and run. Like especially if they really want it, they are gonna be able to do it. I see. Oh, uh, let me see. So um, we looking for day two right now. Yeah, I got it. Y'all better my, appreciate this, man. Jokes, Y'all see. Man. Hey, Kyron, man, you better appreciate this, bro. <laughs> this is real game right here. This is like, bro. People pay me bread, like crazy bread for information, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm showing love. It's so. cool. I did the same thing to, uh, to, to Neo. <laughs> I did the same thing to Romel. I did the same thing. Got it out of him. Yeah, bro. Like, oh, yeah. okay. So. And you already know. You caught it. Yeah. Shit, Neo charged 45 for yeah, his mentorship. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, let me get yeah. that 45 about you, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. So day two. So day two is more details in the faceless channel creation. So how to create a YouTube business. Um, and a channel to where you never show your face or create the videos yourself, right? So basically focusing on the business model. Mm -hmm. That day is all about the business model where we're talking about the elements of it. So Mm -hmm. the script writer, the voiceover artist, the uh, video editor, Mm -hmm. then the thumbnail uh, creator. But we're not, appreciate you, bro. We're not. um, Yeah, you can pop pop, me. But um, we're not we're not necessarily going deep into team building, but we're just really talking about or teaching them about what each one of them do. So the script writer writes your script. The script is supposed to be eighteen hundred and fifty words mm. for an eight minute video. He like he just gave it to keep me. Going, keep <laughs> going, yeah. Keep going. <laughs> the, hey, Emily, if you give me two to put uh, for the, uh, aesthetic. the voice actor, the voice actor. This is some exclusive, bro. I ain't, bro. We really yeah, going crazy. Bro, Look, so on, the bro. voice actor. So wait, let's go back to. This. I'm about to really play. I'm about to really play a voice actor. Like, okay. So right. you can hear it. So yeah. the voice actor, we break down like not just only them reading the script, but really narrating, and knowing what they talking about. So like, for example. Can I get two of the uh, like, not a white one though, the pretty ones. Oh yeah, the white one. The white one good though. That's my favorite one. Yeah, I was just telling somebody that. Yeah. I wish I would've known that because we could have used we could have kept this uh this pink one to just to look pretty. Yeah. Uh. I take one from my way. Just give me the um, the the, the uh, gold one. That's fine. Let me see. Now we really making a whole situation over this mug. Like, uh, um, which one should I take, Kyron? Can I take this one before we do it? Yeah. Yeah, niggas is getting a lot of behind the scenes. Facts. So, now? for this channel specifically, and this is me breaking it down too. Mm-hmm. So when you hire a voice actor, you don't want somebody that can just read a script, right? Elements of a voice actor is the topic that you're going for. So for this NBA channel, what we doing on this NBA channel is we were going for an urban sound, somebody that sounds like, you know, and looks like NBA players, right? Mm-hmm. But it's animated, entertaining, almost like an announcer voice. So you're going to hear this guy, his name Berto. 
he's our uh he's our voice actor for this specific channel right so you can hear it in his voice so right now he's just playing just a clip but watch imagine being so confident that you use just one arm to trick an entire defense mm. and speaking of confidence remember the time lebron channeled his inner steph curry and just knew the three-pointer was gonna drop <laughs> so you see what i'm saying you you hear he, how he animated mm. he not like just reading a script right it's it's it's, it's two type of people it's the person that can read a script word for word and a person that can animate and actually act and voice you're finding act. these on fiverr, fiverr. Or... i found him on fiverr okay fiverr or upstart right upwork upwork so write the script so teaching you guys elements of the script and what it needs the uh, <coughs> elements of a voice actor and and what they need to sound like video editor a video editor needs to know how to edit in a way and, and this kind of goes hand in hand with the script writer the script writer is always going to write and I don't know if they heard it, but it's almost like an open loop. The script has to be asking the viewer a question every clip, mm -hmm. right? But ans and answering it immediately. But the answer is following up another question. Give me an example. Mm, I got you. So there's a clip playing in the background, right? Of LeBron like going crazy about the dunk, and the voice actor and the script writer wrote wrote this line, and the voice actors saying. And this next clip, LeBron dunked on this person, and it was so crazy, you're not going to believe. He almost broke the whatever he say, right? But the clip is not that clip. Mm. But the viewer's like, the viewer's like, is it this clip? So they're engaged, but they don't know. And so then he says, you got to check out this. And then after that, the voice acting goes off, and the video editor shows a different clip. But the clip is of LeBron James doing what the voice actor described. Mm. Then, like, you can literally hear, like, what I'm talking about. It's like an open loop. So just listen. See how I just did it? See what I'm saying? So this is not the clip he's talking about, but he's showing a clip. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So like you showing clips, it's getting them prepared, it's getting them almost ready for what's about to come. But they getting so excited, like they, you know what I'm saying? But it's like it peaks and then boom, it goes right into the next. Okay. So the video editor has to understand how to put the clips in certain areas to keep that viewer engaged. How do I find that person? I guess you it's you find it based on your niche and the topic. No, so, I'm saying how do I find that person on Fiverr or like that that clip right. person? That, so you would go on Fiverr mm -hmm. and then you would look for a video editor and then you would start asking them around like, hey, do you do NBA videos? Do you do gaming videos? Do you do these type of faceless videos? And you send them a, you can literally take a link from a YouTube and send it over to them and say, if you can do this. And then you, this is another play. You always, 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 always do this. Don't pay for the video first. Ask them for a 30 second sample. Because they're going to show you real quick if they can actually do what you're asking for. Mm. So, 30-second sample. And then if they once they give you that, then what you do is if it's good, now you hire them on to do the video. Because now you know you they can do it. I just Who's explained. in charge of finding the video? Is that, is that my job? So, you are in charge of that in the beginning. Once you start making a lot of money, you can outsource it. So, right now, excuse me, currently to this day, I don't, bro, I oversee everything. I don't, I don't. Some it was funny. Somebody asked me the other day, like, "Yo, how many hours you spend doing this?" Zero. Mm. I got channel managers in place, so the channel manager literally hires them. Um, you know, we have this thing that's organized it's on a Trello board, right? And that's something we're gonna break down too. So, and that that's probably gonna be in day two as well. But tr the Trello board, but I'll, I'll say that exp explanation for after I break down what I'm yeah. talking about. But the Trello board organizes them with tasks, and they know when to move what over. So the video ideas are posted usually by me or the channel managers. Channel manager posts the video ideas. Then from there, it gets moved over to script pending. Mm. After it gets moved over to script pending, after the script is done, it goes to the script, script completed. Now it goes to voice over uh, pending. Keep in mind, all of my freelancers are in there. They're waiting for their role to move it over and to upload the file to that thing on Trello. And then from there, it moves over to video uh, or voice over complete. Then from there, it moves over to video editor mm. pending or video edit pending video ready for upload then it's uploaded and then we go do it all over again okay so and that's the trello board 
before we get to the Charlo boy, right? So we got the who was first? Um, the script writer. The script writer. Uh, what was the main point of that? Somebody ha- has to. They have to know how to write the script in a way that it is. It's like asking that viewer a question, but giving them the answer right away, but then following up with another question. And how many characters? I mean, how many? Eighteen fifty. Eighteen fifty. After that, we get the uh, the the guy the the voice actor. Voice, voice actor. actor. Right, voice actor. Yeah. We get the voice actor. What was the key point to that? Has to be someone. It depends on your niche. Mm-hmm. If it's a dark niche, scary, you get somebody like somebody that can speak to that tone. But if you got somebody like in the sports industry in the niche, you want them to have like actual voice act. They got to be an actor. They got to be able to act out what the script is saying, not just read it word for word. Okay. After that, we get take a drink, take your time. Video editor. Video editor. And they have to understand how to put all that together in a way that the script writer wrote it, but also keep it entertaining. So that way, when it's building up that hype, they actually stay through the video. Like, because the whole point of this is to get the person to watch the entire video. Mm-hmm. That's the whole point. So the video editor has to know how to actually visualize what that script and that voice actor is saying and put that together. It, okay. And it's very simple to do that. It's not a hard thing to do. Okay. Right? But, yeah. So after that, wh- who do we need? Thumbnail artist. Thumbnail artist. Thumbnail artist has to be able to create a story <laughs> about that video. <coughs> Don't shortchange me on this one. Hmm? Don't shortchange me. No, I, I gave you. I already gave okay. you the thumbnail oh, game. Okay. Hey, okay. hey, hey, has to be. It has to be a way. It has to know the way on how to make that story come alive. Mm. So the video itself, but add add that to it. So like that whole LeBron James dunking on Steph Curry, right? Number one, we know people want to see that. We know everybody wants to see that. So what is that gonna do? Click through rate, shoot up, mm. right? All click through rate is is the amount of impressions over the amount of people that actually click through the video. And it gives you a percentage, right? We like to say your CTR, I personally like to say 15%, right? I've learned over the years that the average is 6%, but I'm just not used to that. So I say if you do do 15%, you're always going to see, because I've never had a video that did bad that had a high CTR. So Mm. that's why we really focus on that piece, right? And so high CTR, high average viewer duration, right? Which goes back to the video editor, right? And just an overall engagement rate that makes the viewer really enjoy the video. Okay. So that, after the mm-hmm. thumbnail was what? Was that it? O- upload and optimization. So now the video is completed. We need to download the video from Trello, upload it to YouTube, create a title with keywords, right? Keywords is going to make the viewer. Am I doing click. this in the beginning or am I having somebody else? I'm paying somebody to do this too. Channel manager is doing it after you you start paying them to do it, but in the beginning it's you. Okay. okay. But upload optimization is that's really easy to learn. We teach that too. But the title, structure title that's good is going to make people click on it. It's going to add value to the thumbnail, not take away from it. It's not going to tell a different story. It has to tell the same story the thumbnail's telling. After that, the description. Description could just be a short paragraph about what the video is about. Mm-hmm. You can add your you know a few hashtags in it, right? NBA moments, NBA clips, LeBron James, hashtags, easy. It shows up right under the video on YouTube. And then what you want to do is you can add your socials or anything you're trying to promote. Maybe you're doing a brand deal or a sponsored post on there, right? Am I adding, you talked about this, the uh, affiliate links where yeah. you can get. Am, right. I, am, I, am I adding stuff like that too? Yeah, yeah. Definitely, if you have affiliates, you can add it. Like, Are you telling people to do that? or Because I'm, you had a YouTube video talking about affiliate links that yeah, you yeah, made yeah. money off that too. Yeah, yeah. It's, mm. it's money, bro. It's a lot of money in YouTube. Like, it's so many ways you can go with it. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, after that, the tags, which, another play. Just going rapid tags, putting the keyword, right? So, we take a keyword, we put in the rabbit tags, it spits out all the tags for us, copy the tags, put it on the video. Is rabbit or rap, rapid? Rapid, like rapid. fast. Like okay, speed. rapid tags, okay. Yeah, and then you upload it. You know, make sure you put the thumbnail on there. Um, make sure when you're putting the ads on there, if the video is eight minutes, Every three to four minutes is okay. If it's 15 minutes, you can still do every three minutes. Um, you just want to make sure the ads are placed in a way because on YouTube, people don't know this. People only see ads after seven minutes. Mm-hmm. So it's a t- it's like a timer. Every seven minutes, somebody gets an ad. So some people be spamming ads on a video, but they ain't not going to see it. They only going to see an ad every seven minutes. So if you can kind of put your ads in a way to where, so for example, in the very beginning when they click on the video, they get hit with an ad. And at the very end of the video, when they about to lead a video, they get hit with an ad. So those are really two good places to put it because if your video is eight minutes, you know that they're going to get hit with at least two ads mm. on the front end and a back end. 
and then you want to have something in the middle as well just for the people that may have saw an ad recently on another video and then they clicked on your video and they're not getting hit with ads they just saw an ads so those are like the really key places where to put it and that's optimizing the video and yeah so damn all right this day two is that the end of day two or oh, uh, Trello? Let's talk about that. Trello. Yeah, mm -hmm. so Trello is just a, a site or a software where you can basically organize the workflow for your, your freelancers and basically adding all the, almost like the blueprint of the video, the, dr the draft of the video from every single moving part. So I broke down what all those tabs were called. I'll just say it briefly again. Um, the video idea, after that moves over to script pending, script complete. After script complete, it moves over to voiceover uh, pending. Um, then after that is voiceover um, complete. Then from there it goes to video editing uh, pending, video editor or video edit complete, and then ready for upload, and then upload scheduled, and then after that upload it. Okay, so for I know on Fiverr mm -hmm. it's different prices for uh, different things. Is it a price I should, st should stay under or at when I'm looking for these different people? Right, so I told you at that channel I showed you that's going crazy. We only spent like $42 mm -hmm. on each of those videos, right? And so... What's cool is a lot of people think that, like, I was funny enough, thing, I was go back to Shans. He was, I was like, how much you think it costs for that video? He was like, ah, so this cost this, this, this. He was like, like $1,000? Like, no, bro. I literally got videos where I spent $50 and made 10 k mm. right? Now, that's not going to happen every time, right? But I know at least I'm going to make my $50 back. So I can't use the same person, the same people for every video? You, yeah, you can. For okay. every video, you can. Yeah. Okay. It's just, and that's another thing, too. Stick to one niche on one channel. If you decide to do another channel, you need another team. Okay. Oh, unless, okay. It's, unless it's a very similar niche that they're used to creating content with, right? Don't get a basketball content creation team to make videos about soccer. They they may not be able to do that. They may not have the knowledge about that, right? Okay. So it's a lot of little things that go into it. But as far as the cost of the video, so if you're doing $50, you want to have a script for $15. You want to have a voice actor for $15. You want to have a video editor for $15. And the thumbnail is going to be $5. $50 video. Mm. That was one of my first like videos that blew up when I paid for it. Right? $50 is that's exactly what I spent. Right? And so that's something you can spend starting out. Keep in mind, it could be cheaper. I have a team in India, $42. And the videos, they going to work. Right? And so it just really depends on where you find your freelancers from. And, you know, you can will and deal. On Upwork, you really got more, like, power to, like, say, hey, because some people, they have their hourly rate, and it'd be dirt cheap, right? So you can really, you know, get more bang for your buck on Upwork, mm. right, with all the templates and everything. And that's another thing, too. We got a book, um, an ebook, that when they get the ticket, they'll have the option if they want to upgrade and get that ebook. And it has the, the templates in there. And I'm probably just going to give it to you just out of love. But it has the templates in there, right? The book or the templates? What? What's like the book? the book has the templates for Upwork. So but you, you want to give just... me out of love, though? The book. Okay, the book. Right, yeah, right, it got right, the right. templates in there. And so All right. literally with that book, you can copy those Upwork posts, those pages, and just put it on, um, what's it called, Upwork, instead of you having to figure out how to type up your own, like, uh, offer to ask people to work for you. Okay. And it's just a plug and play. How much is the book? So it's $47. Let's yeah. let's let's do three. Let's do, if, if they still, where we at, Kyra? If they still watching at an hour and six minutes, give them, a, give them, give them some type of, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Call action. Like, let's do three. What three? What you mean three? Books. I don't know. I mean, three books. Yeah. yeah like, let's like give them something to do. Follow. Oh, say, okay. Yeah, yeah. Follow so, David follow, Amari. So follow David Amari on Instagram. Say you you watched uh yeah. Jay Hill podcast. Oh yeah yeah cool yeah. yeah, yeah. How many do you want to do? Three. Throw three people. Yeah. You do like ten people, bro. What you mean three? Five. Let's do ten. Come on, bro. Let's do ten people. Yeah. Let's do ten. All right. So look, you follow David Amari. You got to follow him. Yeah. So. Uh shit. Um repost the video. Let's let's not make it too hard. Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna give it, I wanna give it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you gotta do is say follow him and follow just, David Amari, say facts. yo, I I I'm still watching that 106. Yeah, and comment that. Comment that so I see it. I DM you, I DM you the book. I'll probably for ask for or I just send you the Google link drive or the Google Drive link and you can just have it. Bro, I'm just we just giving away game, man. Yeah, bro. It's, yo, we that, This that is was, what I do it for. This is why I teach people, bro, is because when I learn this and where I was in my in my position, bro. I was at a nine to five working at Macy's. I'm like, bro, there's no way in the world I'm gonna be here with all these people working here till they was all like 60 years. Bro, I'm like, there's no way it's gonna be me. Mm. And I just see a lot of my people, you know what I'm saying, coming from where I come from, just making the wrong decisions, right? They think it's either rapper, ball player, or you know, let's go to school and get a regular nine to five. There's so many opportunities in the world. Facts, and I'm I, pretty sure yeah. you 
you making this money, especially passively like this, it, it helps you invest in other things. What can make you more money? Yeah, bro. Right? Me and my boy Benny, we about to. Uh, ain't no about to. My money gone. <laughs> uh, I put like a, a ton of bread. I invested like three hundred k. Um, we just bought a building in Decatur, sixty mm. unit apartment building, and we closed on. We were supposed to close on Juneteenth, but it got pushed back. So. We probably closing on it in the next two weeks, end of June or early July. So, all off of YouTube money. Yeah, bro. Just so dumping it back. Was that all? That was that all we had for uh, day two? Yeah, that was just breaking down the team or breaking down a, a faceless channel and how to how to actually make faceless content. Day three is the before we go to day three. Yeah. You said um you said you got time right, bro. I got time. Bro. That's right. Y'all hungry? I'm hungry as fuck. Y'all trying to take a break? Get some food real quick. Or you want to keep going? What y'all want to do? I feel do? like the flow is going real good though, but I know you mad hungry. So. Nah, that's fine. We, I mean, we, if y'all want to go through, we can go through the whole thing. I'm just asking, letting y'all know. I'm y'all niggas, uh, day three, because you keep talking about whatever, nigga. You better <laughs> speak your mind. <laughs> All right, day three, we gonna break down monetizing, monetize to million strategy. Okay. Okay. So this is a very, very. Did you want to take a break or you good? Bro, I go. I just keep going, bro. Say less. Cause I, I keep just, going bro, too. I keep, bro. I don't. <laughs> I keep going I too. To, I used to sit up on YouTube videos, edit video, come home from a twelve-hour shift, be on YouTube for another six, seven hours till the early morning, bro. All right. So let's let's again. You know the YouTube thing. We gotta. And when it comes to teaching, so people people understand. Day one we did um mind of a mind of a successful YouTuber. Day two we did a faceless channel creation one on one. Day three we're on monetizing to millions. Okay. Come okay. On. So I want to break down in this day. The top two ways I personally make money from it, right? And I'm going to also tell them about ways that they can also make money from it as well. But the top two ways I personally made money from it was the ad revenue and the brand deals. Mm. So I'm going to go deep into detail about, like, leveraging the ad revenue, how to make it passive, and how to make a lot of it, right? Um, basically, breaking this down. And I literally, I ain't, man, bro, you getting it out of me, bro. A lot of this stuff supposed to be a surprise, but I got this ebook. That has the hundred um, most profitable niches, right? From one to one hundred, my team took like Damn. five, six months to make it, and it tells you the RPM on every single niche, so they Damn. can like decide it, right? And so, in the, on that day, we're gonna go through that list, and I'm just gonna talk about those. What niches. you got it, Richie? Come on, man. Come <laughs> he on, said you got it, bro. Richie. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. I don't know I if do I got it. it. I really don't know if I got it with me because I think I, I have it on who my computer. Who got it? Call, call him. <laughs> he said, "Who got it? Call." Let me see. I might have it. Let me see. Let me check my drive. Let's see, bro. <coughs> Look, y'all better appreciate this, man. Yeah, Nobody doing this. He getting it all out. He getting it. Who did this on the podcast? Made nah, you do all nobody, this? Nobody, bro. bro we I don't even be on my bro. phone on the podcast. I told you, we listen. This is gonna be. This might. It's gonna be the most. This is what we going for. The most boring, but uh, what's the word? Not intellectual. But insightful. Insightful. There we go. Per- there you go. Yeah, bro. The most boring but insightful interview ever. Man. If you want to make ten thousand dollars a month, tap in. That's what we want to do. That's just light. That's, that's light. light. Yeah, that's light. I, I, you see, I just, I just made it realistic. <laughs> yeah. Ten thousand dollars a month. We got. We gonna. We gonna. We gonna think of a uh, a title in this interview. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> we gonna think know. of a title. You gonna go crazy. Let me see. I know I got it in. Yeah. Come on. You said how many? A hundred. A hundred, bro. Yeah. Come on, find it. Yeah. You got time. It's cool. Yeah. I want my people to know. Let me see. Why it's e books? Yeah. E books. Let me see. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Got it right here. Boom. You can slow this part down, but just go through them. But so the first. And what is this again? I'm sorry. This is the hundred profitable niche list. Okay. And right. What is that? So we have niches that make the most money from one to one hundred. All right. Let's go. So boom. Profitable niches, one, make money online, two, finance. You don't have to say the numbers, just, just go through it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay, okay, finance, investor, e-commerce, real estate, trading, cryptocurrency, marketing, credit, fitness, makeup, insurance, mortgage, software, dating advice, law of attraction, psychology, weight loss, muscle building, drones and RCs, uh, intermittent, fast, intermediate fasting, quit smoking, vegan, Cooking, LGBTQ, gaming walkthroughs, gaming reviews, gaming cheats, scary stories, travel tips, flight and airline reviews, tech reviews, tour reviews, life hacks, personal development, car reviews, uh, comedy skits, how to train a dog, pet care, 
how to raise a kid, political uh, commentary, bands, realtor, magic, piano, guitar, drums, how to speak a language, blogging, camping, astrology, hypnosis, psychic pr uh, predictions, survivalists, hair tutorials, YouTube marketing, alternate that's alternate. enough that's enough if they, ain't, if they ain't got enough if they ain't got something good then they, 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 they missing out that, that, damn where you stop at 57 <laughs> we getting toys he get the game we it. going crazy nah this might be the best pod bro we going crazy bro we cause I know it'll be mad people looking for my podcast cause they know how much game I drop but this is gonna be the one that we everybody gonna tap it. in bro alright cool you go through the list right we still on day 3 alright still on day 3 now we actually have to talk about like monetizing and getting the views, like the real me, mm -hmm. getting the views, I mean, like potatoes. that's the point, right? Getting the views. Everybody knows how to make content. How do you get the views? Right. Okay. So because the views make the money. So I'm going to break down a very simple strategy where all you essentially do is find that one successful viral video that you have. You're going to make, you're going to get that video. It's going to go viral, right? Once it goes viral, you're just going to repeat that same process. But how do over I get it to go viral? Okay. So simple. Pretty much everything we already discussed. Mm -hmm. But now you're just tapping into that audience that's already watching it. So the best and the fastest way to go viral is by seeing somebody else who just went viral. Mm -hmm. So once you find somebody else that has went viral, right? You take you see exactly what they did, right? Number one, it has to be relevant. So let's get really into like detail. Go to the search engine, step one. Filter your niche so let's just say for example we back on nba nba moments right excuse me filter it this month filter it four to 20 minutes because we don't want to see no shorts then filter it again for view count mm. that's about to show you all the most popular videos in the last month mm. now all you got to do is pick one but don't just pick anyone pick one that's from a channel that has more views than subscribers because guess what if you go pick a channel that got a million subscribers and they got 900,000 views, I can't tell if that came from their channel or it came from the YouTube algorithm, right? Now, let's take it back a step because I'm still going. So look, now, let's just say we found a channel that got 10,000 subscribers, but their video got a million views. Bingo. Mm. I got action. I'm about to take that same, because look, they got 10, there's no way they got that kind of reach without YouTube pushing it. Mm. So that topic is hot. How can we remake that? but make it better because most likely it's a channel that got 10,000 subs. They probably ain't really been in the game too long. They probably really didn't know what they just did, but I know what they just did. And I know that I can literally take it and make it 10 times better because I got all the access to that. Sheesh. And y'all going to have the access to that because y'all going to know how to do it. Sheesh. They don't know it. You know mm. what I'm saying? So boom, we take it, we make it better. 10 million views. Let's just say 10 million views, right? Because that's usually what happens. It goes super viral because the person didn't know, right? Um, and so, yeah. And so we break that down. Um, and that, that's like getting the views, right? Getting the viral video. That's what you said. Now we got the viral video. How can we do this video? How can we make um, unlimited remixes of this video but make it new every time? Mm. After that, you crack the code. So that's getting the views and making the money, right? Now, breaking actual, actual, actually breaking down what the views make. Because if I'm doing, let's just say $5 per thousand views, Three to five dollars. We just gonna say we gonna say five dollars, right? Because mm -hmm. typically five dollars is what it is. Well, I think on uh, other channel I showed you when I first got here was six dollars. Let's say six dollars. You know that you need a million views per month to make six thousand dollars, okay? But if you get two million views, that's twelve thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Three million views, eighteen thousand dollars, right? So now we have to understand how many views do I need to meet to reach my goals, and how do I get them, right? So we know how to go viral. But now we need to understand, okay, when we get the views, what do we make from it? And how do we, because that's what's going to bring that dog out of you. That's going to make you go to work. Yeah. Right? right? And so after you figure that out, now you now you know. Like now you know the amount of views that you need to get. Right? So we'll say $5, right? And the beautiful thing about YouTube is it's not off of like a video. To, it's all your videos combined and combine in 30 days and they pay you out on the 21st of the next month. Facts. So you know what you got to do. You got to go to work. Right? Mm. But that's why YouTube automation is so beautiful and it's a blessing. You, 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 you just got to orchestrate. You ain't got to really go to work. They going to do it for you. You just, right? So that's basically day two. And then we talk about brand deals. So that was first part was about ad revenue, brand deals. Brand deals, <laughs> I chuckle because I made, you, you got a brand deal yet? I'm sure you got a brand deal. Mm. Yeah. 
<laughs> you do. I see y'all. I see all the Bel Air bottles. I mean, you might, you might be blugged and locked in with them real quick. You know? Cool. So check this out. So I had a channel where a company reached out to me, and they said we want to pay you ten thousand dollars for a single fifteen to thirty second shout out. I ain't got that. Yeah, just, <laughs> I ain't got that. It, 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 I ain't got gonna, that brand. It's gonna come, bro. It's gonna come. It's gonna come. Okay, so it's gonna come. Just watch some emails. It's gonna come. So we said, sure, we'll do it. Get my channel manager. He tells, he talks, he negotiates it, whatever. Boom. A video editor makes the ad. Okay. <laughs> he about to go crazy. So look, the video goes viral. Mm. Two, three million views. Right. The company says, Yo, we loved it. We loved it. Can we get nine more slots on your channel this month? Damn. That's a hundred K. That's a hundred K. That's a honey bun. Damn. And this is what's really going to drive you nuts. We just had to copy and paste that same ad in every single video. Oh, my God. We didn't even have to make it again. So how did you get the brand? Like, is it just because the, the We was going there? crazy. And, and, and this is what I always say. Influencer marketing is so strong right now. People and companies, these big, small, medium-sized companies, they want to get in front of people that they know is an audience that knows, like, and trusts the person that they follow mm. or the influencer. So if you got an audience that knows you, likes you, and trusts you, people are more prone to buying whatever that product is that that person is promoting because they love the influencer. They're going to do whatever they they doing, right? It's an influencer. What do they do? They influence people. Right. So even with faceless channels, it's the same thing. So is there any particular game far as I know you had the numbers they can reach out to you, but is there any particular game when it comes to getting sponsorships that you got, that you got, that you're giving away, like? It's yeah, on, hey, bro, you on, try man. to get. I ain't gonna hold back. I ain't gonna hold you. Look, so when they come to the five day challenge, man, on that day, we actually have, and I don't got this one on me. Thank God, cause you would have got it. <laughs> yeah, I don't got this one on me. Okay, but it, this is in the in the program. But we gonna give it to them for the on the five days. I got brand deal templates mm. that's already typed out. You don't oh, have you, it on. You don't have. It's I swear I don't have it on me, bro. I swear it's in the program. Oh, what a program! At? It's on. It's on Kajabi, but I'm not lost. You can't. Okay, you can't. Okay. I can't do it. So look, bro. I'm telling you, we literally got a template. What's the template? You know, all they got to plug it. All they got to plug and play. They. It's already typed out for them to reach out. Cause look, it's cool to wait for the brands to come to you, but I'm big on going fishing. Okay. So I'm about to teach you how to fish brand deals. Okay. So we got a whole template that's structured in a way that you can actually go approach brands. And I'm going to break down exactly, like, I'm going to go through that whole brand deal sheet, right? And I'm going to actually tell them, like, you can literally fill out your name or whatever your company is, whatever your channel is, right? And it's just fill in the blank. Put your channel name here. Put what your channel was about. I think your company is X, Y, bro. It's literally already done. All they got to do is fill it in. Mm. A fill in the blank and go fishing. Just send it to all these companies that you think will actually promote on your channel and we also have with that template a pricing chart so if your channel getting 1 million to whatever views or 100,000 or whatever views you can put your price on what it costs per those views mm. and you can price that out however you want however you feel and then send it out with that Damn. with that after they say yeah we're interested what are your rates because that's what they're going to ask you and what you going to say David I don't know what my rates are right. yeah you do use the other part of the template Sheesh. send that too okay day one we got Mind of a, Mindset of a successful YouTuber. Day two. Day two, we talking about uh, faceless channel creation. Day three, we talking about monetize to millions. Day four, we're talking about team building. Mm. So team building now, I'm actually going on to these websites, and I'm going to sit there and teach you how to hire them. I may, I, I haven't decided I'm going to do this, but I may even have a live negotiation with these people mm. because that's really the biggest piece. A lot of people don't know that. They think they could just go hire some cheap freelancers and boom, they're millionaires. No, bro. The the most important piece of the content creation puzzle is a great team. That's funny because I mean, out, even outside of this yeah. automation, like that's in that's in general. In general, bro. Just let y'all know you need a team. Like the team I got now, I I don't know how it is in from your perspective, but from my perspective, hmm. I wasn't able to build this team. God sent me this team. Fact, no cap, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like this, fact. this shit was hard. Like it, it, like shit don't come overnight. Like yeah. Kyrie in my line. Like we got people come and go. <laughs> like this shit. Uh, he might, if he could teach you this shit, shit oh, I wish somebody could have told me this because like, this shit came from years. But no, they do come and go, bro. You mm. gotta, you gotta really find dedicated people because a lot of times people don't be in it for the long run. Mm. People get they bag and they up and now they want to go. And you gotta, you know, 
it surprisingly doesn't happen this often because freelancers make so much money. But, you know, it, it's happened to me before where a freelancer, they'll see us going crazy. And they're like, bro, I'm about to go just do it myself. Mm. It's very rare because most of the time I hire people that's outside the country. Okay. So they already don't have that mindset. A lot of people outside the country are there. They know they're big on helping, big on serving. That's a U.S. thing. Yeah, it's a yeah. U.S. like Canadian type of like, yo, I'm about to go. Yeah. So that's something like really, you know, find a good team. But building <laughs> a great team is 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 more than just a person that can do the job. Can they do the job on time? Mm. Can they communicate as a whole? Are they a solo player? Are they a team player? Can they communicate with everybody else on the Trello board? Are they good with deadlines? Mm. Right. How good are they Well, actually doing what they say? Are they lazy? Will their quality of work fall down because we're demanding more? Can they handle the amount of demand when we start running up a bag and we want to dump more money are into Are you asking these questions beforehand or is this something? It's that... a learning process, bro. Because some okay. of these things, people are just going to lie to you about. And okay. there's nothing you can do about it. But you, if the work is good enough, you can, you can, take, the, you can take the risk, mm -hmm. right? Um, but... A lot of these things are, are really just X'd out in the beginning. Because when you ask for that sample, if it take them, bro, I, can, I love LeBron James video that we paid for three months ago. Still ain't got it. Damn. And this is the test video, the trial video to see if we actually want to hire you. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? So. So how do we, um, I guess, like, what's the game on that? Are we hiring people from specific or particular yeah, places? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. What's nice, your suggestion? So it depends on the position. <clears throat> Script writing, you have to hire somebody that has great English and great grammar, right? So Philippines, they can do a really good job. Uh, Nigeria is a great one. Mm. And, and um, not Afghanistan. I can see Nigeria being a great one. Yeah, Nigeria is a great one. Bro. I can see that being a great one. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good one. Um, and then even with voice acting too, it's like a it's like a play. So that's what I was thinking. I was yeah, really yeah. thinking about voice yeah, acting. That's like Nigerian doing. It kind of go hand in hand with and script voice. and voice and okay. voiceover. But it's I don't know why I'm forgetting a country. It's not Indians. It, uh, Pakistan people okay. from Pakistan okay. are really good. So India give me the top three again. So Nigeria, we said uh, what's called Pakistan, and we said what do we say? We the first one. We just said this shit. <sighs> too much Belair. Uh, anybody remember? You can rewind it, fuck it. It's India? Cool. Uh, no, I, no, not India. Uh, I know I got it. Philippines. Philippines. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Philippines, Nigerian, yeah. and Pakistan. And Pakistan. Okay. Voiceovers. Nigerians, people from Pakistan. Like, there's channels that I got voice actors on. I couldn't even, t bro, couldn't even tell, bro. Mm. Like, Idris Elba type. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Switch up. Like, you don't you don't even know he speak like that. Like, but in the movies, you would think he a whole, he a, like, oh, nigga, bro, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like, yeah, so voice acting is pretty much similar, right? You can hear their voice. You can tell if they, they sound like what you're looking for, right? Um, and they can be animated, too, especially people in Pakistan. They get real animated, right? India is very hard to get away from the accent. They'll get they'll give you treat rates, but it's very hard to get away from the accent. And the only way you can leverage it is if it's in, like, a finance niche, right? Because mm -hmm. then the people that are older, they don't, they don't, they don't really mind your voice. And what it sounds like, as long as the information you're giving them is correct and the value is in it. Hey, let me ask you this. Yeah, bro, what's up? Oh, do, do we got anything else for day four? Let's not rush it. Let's be real. We on team. We on team building, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we we still got. We, I'm still going through it. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna ask you later. I'm gonna ask you after after okay. after we get to day, day four. But so what else? So after we got the voice actor, now we need to do the video editor, mm -hmm. right? And understanding. That, like a, how I explained it earlier, like the key elements of a video editor, how long can they edit videos and what what are they what are they charging for those videos, right? The rate, right? Because sometimes they'll they'll be a cheap editor, but they they charge super cheap for a super short time, right? So you got to get that sweet spot if they can do the job and do it at a certain length, right? And so we want to make sure that they can edit with the effects that look good and, and not match up with the competition, but can make it look better, mm -hmm. right? And they can do certain things that we're looking for, right? Many times what we do is we send the video editor an example and say, hey, remake this for me exactly how it's done because I know the video I sent you was at a level I'm trying to get at. If you cannot deliver on that level, I cannot hire you, okay. right? So just really emphasizing that, the sample, the sample, the sample, especially for the video editor. The sample because is super important. That's what the viewer is going to see. They're going to hear the voice actor. They ain't going to see the script, but they're going to see your video. So if your video ain't right, 
You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's not gonna get viewed. Like people got people gonna click on it, but the average view duration is gonna be short. Okay. Right. And so you want to make sure that that joint is crispy, right? Like on my um on that channel I showed you earlier, the one that got 50k views in like a day for that one video we just posted. The average viewer duration is seven minutes. The video is thirteen minutes. Damn, that's like over fifty percent. Yeah, bro, it's literally like crazy, bro. That's crazy. Because the editor know what they doing, mm -hmm. and it's more storytelling in that niche, so they really, you know, get into it. What else do we got for the team, brother? Did we miss anything? Thumbnail artist. Thumbnail artist is smooth. It's a real easy process um, because you can easily tell somebody can do what you're trying to do. But I will say, when you're finding a, a uh, thumbnail artists on Fiverr, be careful because they just like to use the most like viral thumbnails on YouTube. Excuse me. Sometimes it's not they work. Mm. And if it's not they work, it's all bad, bro. Like if it's not they work and you and you buy a thumbnail for them thinking they can do that, you're going to get scammed. Like they're going to send you a thumbnail. You're like, bro, what is this? Right. And mm -hmm. they ain't going to be able to deliver on it. So you want to make sure you can find somebody that can also do it. And they'll do a sample for you, but it don't got to be the whole thumbnail. Just say, hey, I like this text on this thumbnail. Can you redo this text? So you find a thumbnail from somewhere else? Yeah, I always okay. take I always take inspiration, bro. With YouTube automation and with YouTube in general, yes, you can be innovative. Don't get me wrong. But I learned in the beginning being innovative slows you down. When you just don't try and reinvent the wheel and you already go with what's already working on a platform, you're able to hop on that train a lot faster. Okay. Yeah. So I want to, before we get to day five, I want to, take a personal yeah, question for you Go ahead. and again this interview i specifically want this interview for the people be for the people who really need it who really hungry and that's trying to make some yeah, money right to go get it but if you're somebody who already got it and you just enjoy the conversation um this is the question i got for them how much two different questions right if somebody wanted to hire you to get it started could they do it and how much, how much would that be like to do it for them mm -hmm. Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five bands okay cool so what if somebody wanted to pay Somebody to go to your class, right? How much do you think they should? And just being honest, is, since well, business, somebody wanted to, so somebody wanted to pay for somebody else to go to the class instead of them. Yep, mm -hmm. because they just ain't got time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much you think they should pay somebody? Of of course, including the five. Let's say they wanted the five hundred, the whole right. big thing, right? The five hundred dollars. I think it's four ninety five. What was it? Four ninety seven. Four ninety seven. Yeah, right. Yeah. They want they gonna pay the four ninety seven. How much should they pay for somebody to sit in the class for the five days? Do you know? I'm just curious. This is some, give me some game. Well. What would you suggest? Any it, suggestions? It, it wouldn't be a lot. Like, I mean, it, the person's going to get value. Like, they, they it's going to be a win-win. Um, Like, I would say, like, if you paying somebody and you're giving them a ticket, I'll just pay them $100. Like, yo, give them $100, go sit and learn anything. This is something that, for example, a parent that is working, mm -hmm. right, they got an older, you know, child, maybe 16, 17, because keep in mind, this YouTube thing, you could do this from anywhere in the world, no matter what age you are, X, Y, and Z. You want your kids to sit in the five day challenge? Give your kid hundred dollars. Mm. Give them an incentive to do it. I only ask that because, mm -hmm. like you know, in the beginning you said something. I think I heard it before, but I'm no, still... tra no, no, no transaction, no transformation. Yeah, so I'm thinking like, okay, even though I pay for the five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, right? Yeah. If they don't see the value in it, they can bullshit. They can sleep. They can, you know. Then yeah, I lost my five hundred dollars. So I'm thinking, I'm, I'm curious. Like now, I'm thinking from an entrepreneur, like yo, how much would it be worth? For me to pay somebody to sit in this class, even though they can make money too, but I want them so, to really soak up their game too. A stack, then like mm -hmm. it's either if it's your kid, just pay them hundred. If it's somebody that's like you know, but you know they just gonna almost like you telling them to go to school and mm -hmm. get it, bro. You gotta pay them like a stack, bro. At least a stack just to motivate them, and don't pay them the whole stack. Give them five hundred in the beginning, give them five hundred after. Mm, how much is that a day? Five days, like two hundred dollars a day. Yeah. How much is that an hour? Uh, that's like a couple dollars an hour. Shit, two hundred dollars divided by how long the class? So probably like two hour, an hour to two hours, maybe in an hour. I'm paying them a hundred, a hundred dollars an hour. <laughs> Shit, I probably, I probably do a hundred. I thought I probably do a hundred dollars a day. Cause yeah. at the class an hour. Yeah, about an hour, two hours. Hour, two hours. Yeah, fifty dollars an hour should be good. Yeah, they probably ain't even making that from that job. No, I give fifty dollars an hour. Fuck. Fact. Fact. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So thirty five bands for you. Yeah. And what that come with? They, you could do the whole. I build out the whole system for them. What can you guarantee? I don't How make much? guarantees. Nothing? I don't. Because YouTube is social media, and I can't. Although, yes, I build successful channels. I'm currently building successful channels, bro. I can't gauge what's going to happen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We like to say. On a small, on a, on a, on a minimum side, what, what, what At least you? double your, double back your, or make over your investment, right? So double 40. Not, not even for like 35, so you probably make 60, 70. 
Like that's what I. But that's that's no guarantee because right, I cannot right. guarantee that, bro. Like there's it's just mm. no, anything can happen. Damn. So let's say you teach this to somebody, right? Yeah. Again, well, I think we talked about this earlier, but like let's say I pay, let's say I pay somebody five hundred and I pay for the class five hundred dollars, right? Mm-hmm. On a on a the bare minimum, if they do what you say, you think they can get thirty in three months, or let's say twenty in three months? What do you think? Twenty. Yeah. 20? Yeah, but so even I feel if it's like, ten, that's not bad. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I, I just because I know the typical person. If you're not a go getter, you're just gonna get the information and you're gonna sleep with. Like you know what I'm saying? Like especially on your own with no guidance and no help and nobody like really walking you through the process. Like you gonna you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like an ex- excitement phase. Like mm. you know what I'm saying? Like the puppy love phase. Like you know what I'm saying? Okay, so the the class I paid the five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Does it come with somebody that can walk me through it, or is it? You just giving game and that's it. Yeah, we with you. If you go if you go VIP, bro, you in the chat with me. Like, like every day we like, yo, what's going on? Like, what you need help with? Da, 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 cool. Like, you're getting us from me, bro. Keep in mind, I don't, bro. I, I, I have my group, my mentorship group, mm-hmm. right? Where that's the most dedicated support that they get from me. But for the most part, like, if somebody want a one on one call with me, like thirty five thousand dollars, bro. Mm. Like facts, bro. Like to sit on a call. For an hour, like my guy, he just hit me. He was like, "Yo, um, I left my job. Da da da. We've been locked in. Like he worked at this designer store I always went to. And he was like, um, yeah, I left my job, but bro, I see what you're doing, bro. I really, I really want to get with you. I want to have lunch and everything. But this is my boy, so I'm like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I charge 35k an hour, so I'm sitting down with you, that's way more. But I'm not gonna charge you that. I'm gonna just charge you 10,000 mm. to get on a call before or to sit on a Zoom call before an hour, and I give you everything you need, uh, materials included, everything." Right, but that's just because I'm looking out for my boy, right? That's not something that I, that's I, ten bands from the lookout. <laughs> like you know, that's and I'm not even, out. and I'm not even on that tip. I'm not even looking at it like I, I don't look at that as something that I promote because I really don't do that. Like them one on one calls are rare. It's like it has, to, it probably comes from like somebody that's like a business owner, or somebody just super interested yeah. in what I got going on. It's not like the average day person, you know. What I saying? get it, and that's why I say I started with the the uh, Nehemiah Davis shit because I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning. I ain't believe none of this shit. This is scam, niggas finessing. Mm-hmm. I just ain't believe it. And then I got down here and I seen people that really. Atlanta changed, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it on it. And but also me being fortunate enough not to have to pay the money, but being in the circles. Yeah, I can honestly say like if I had it, it's worth it, right? Like because even like bro, being what? just yeah. sitting down here with you, right? Just because sometimes the interview is the finesse, right? Yeah. To be honest, because we can, we you can probably, jack, somebody can. Yeah. Well, ten thousand for this conversation, right? Yeah. But like, even just having the conversations, being in the rooms with a David Shane's, with a with a Nehemiah Davis, and like re- really being able to to get mentorship for them, yeah. just off the like grind, off the off the love mm-hmm. type shit. I see the the benefit in it. Yeah, the value. The value in it, and, mm-hmm. I, and I can honestly say, like, and I'm a nigga from the hood. If y'all don't believe, I, nobody trust. Believe me, like if you can get it, it's so worth it because, bro, even if you don't. Get a business deal with Nehemiah Davis Facts. or David Shans. The people in the room, being in that room, bro, working with them can just get get you a different mindset, make you more money than you I'm probably made and all that. So it's, 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 it's crazy that you say that because like <coughs> Neo always used to say that, like get in the room, get in the room, get in the room, get in the room. So that was a big reason why I moved to Atlanta. So I was like, bro, I I, I got to get in this room. I got to be a part of this, right? And I ain't see nobody out here really, you know, giving the game on YouTube. So I'm like. I could add to that puzzle. Mm. And so, you know, getting in the room, he always just say, like, yo, you never know who you sit next to. You could be sitting next to your next million dollars. Mm. And that happened to me, like, low-key. Like, I was in a room, and then, like, somebody I met, like, we ended up running a million dollars. Like, mm. it was crazy. Um, and so, you How just... How much you think you made overall with this shit? With YouTube Automation? Yeah. Five mil. Damn. Over 10 years. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I wish it was all at once, bro, but, you know. You live, you make some mistakes, you spend some money, you go on some What's some shit? You, I guess what's some shit you like before we get to day five? We, we I'm on my YouTube shit. You, you know how you have all the conversation with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come well, on. What's, what's some shit you, you think you learned from this shit, though? Like, like if you had to give somebody else that's really serious about it, they about to make this money, mm-hmm. and like you had to really give them some game, like, bro, I got in it, and these are some mistakes that I made. Don't make these mistakes. Yeah, man. Nah, um, number one, staying consistent. Don't mm-hmm. get lazy. You're going to see that first million view video, and you're going to get complacent. <laughs> A lot, like, bro, find something that's gonna put pressure. That's me personally, though. I, I, I go crazy off pressure. If I got pressure on me, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna per, be perfected like a diamond. Like that's how I work, though. I mm-hmm. just need pressure on me, right? But the biggest mistake I would say I made was, and I really, 
like honestly i've been through everything on youtube i got my channel deleted mm. by youtube i've had my channel get mass strikes copyright strikes and, and uh what's it called the other one the limited ad shit not no no i got limited ad. oh yeah bro we've been through the apocalypse uh, what's it called? Community guideline strikes. Damn. I got my channel hacked. Why you get what? What happened? Why, how you get those? <sighs> so, long story short, I got my channel deleted on some like fluke. Like so I was blowing up, bro, blowing up, and somebody just spam report. Like it was mad people spam reporting my page. Gone. Ended up getting it back after two years. Mm. So, and it's funny when I submitted the email to get it back, they get it back to me in fifteen minutes. Wow. After waiting for two years, and it was a check on there. It was like. Like six thousand dollars, ended up getting it. So then I got that. That happened. Then I got copyright strikes because when you're blowing up and people don't like that, they like to strike your channel. They like to strike you know your videos down, right? Which keep in mind, I've been through all of this, so you ain't got to worry about none of this because I, I I have methods on all of this, getting it all because I've I've came back. Yeah, <laughs> I was you know came back. So um, yeah, community guideline strikes. It was it was a gaming thing. GTA has some type of casino update. But that didn't that didn't mess with YouTube's update. YouTube didn't update their system, right. so YouTube thought I was promoting some gambling site, and so oh, I got okay. community guideline strikes, and I had to fight with YouTube like, "Yo, these this is a game. This is not real money. Like this is a game," and they didn't update they they stuff enough. So, but you know, I got reps at YouTube that really look out for me. So, boom, I did that, and we was good. Got it. Got all those strikes removed, even the warning, limited ads. Oh, it's just a part of the game. That's like. All the fucking you just time. learn it. You just learn it. You just learn it. You just learn it. Mm. Just don't cuss in the first 10 seconds, 10, I think it's 15 seconds or something like that. Bro, I do 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm not playing with these things. <laughs> I, bro, don't. I got don't. a nigga that edited my shit, bro. I don't know, play with it. I say, yo, 20 minutes. I don't care. 20 minutes. 20. I'm crazy. I'm not playing with these niggas, bro. It's bro. just crazy. Well, yeah, the yellow dollars, bro, that happens. It's a part of the game. And then getting hacked, man. I remember this, bro. Like it was yesterday, bro. It was crazy. So we, um, man, I'm chilling. I forgot what I was doing. I um got a, a brand deal from a PC cleaning company. Should knew it was a scam. Mm. Yeah, dot ru. So it was from Russia. Say, hey, you know what I'm saying? We want to promote your, you know, want to promote this PC cleaner on your channel. Hey, it was trying to give me three bands. So I said, okay, cool. I, I've had brand deals around that price more than that. So that sounds legit. Cool. Download the software. Nothing happens. It's called, they call it a rat. It's like a a, a virus they put on your PC. Mm. I'm in the kitchen. I get this notification on my phone. Someone has changed the ownership of your channel. Mm, mm, mm. Keep in mind, bro. I'm living off this, bro. Mm. And when, bro, I'm living off this. Like this is my life. This is my income. I got mouse to feed. Two kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, F word, loud. Sl slam, the, slam my fist in the wall. I'm running to my computer. I'm like, yo, they got me. Like, like pulled a run for under my feet. That's crazy. Because what the rat did, man, it's like untold told stories of David Omar. Are you getting it out right this is, crazy. this is crazy. So it's like rug pulled from under me, bro. I'm like, I'm going on a computer. And I'm like, yo. Oh, it was them because what they did is it's this rat where it's like you download it and they they were allowed to monitor your screen oh and my use God. your PC. So no they could have got my bank, my e they went through, but they just wanted the channel. Jeez. And it was from Russia. So look, they click it, they they boom, they changed the ownership from because it was like the it was like some remote access type of thing they had. It was a rat, like a virus. And so they changed the ownership, but thank God. I get because with YouTube now at that time, you have to when you, when it comes to changing the ownership, it takes seven days. Okay. So, but this is what happens because they have access to your whole PC. Not only do they take the ownership, but they delete the email. Out. Bro, it was so bad. They delete the email that tells you that. So I'm refreshing my email like what what happened? And people gonna see that and be like, oh, the, the, it was just maybe an email that spam, but bruh. If I didn't check my channel to see if if the joint got really got taken, they would have had it in seven days because you don't see that. It just it says it shows the alert quick because what they're trying to do is they're trying to get it to where it don't even pop up on your phone. Mm. So if it don't pop up on your phone, if I didn't know, if I didn't see it pop up on my phone, channel would have been gone. Yeah, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Just the other day, bro, I swear. Yeah. 
um I didn't know you can like uh what is it called um when you can, you can call somebody from like a, another number mm. I forgot what it's called but uh, with the Star 69 with joint a spoof yeah yeah, yeah spoof. no not star, like so yeah spoof I never I didn't know that so I get a call yeah. from a Navy federal number right and they like uh yo have you have you tried to tell somebody this and I'm like nah they like mm. uh Oh, we just let you know we had to freeze your account because um for sus- 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 wow, suspicious uh yeah, activity. activity yeah. And I'm like, huh? Wait, what? They like, um, can you um Give me verify your uh your transactions? I'm like, I mean, I did this, 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 and that. Like, okay. They like, uh, well, have you tried to sell somebody from someplace? Hmm. I'm like, nah. They like, yeah, that's why we froze it because we um we we figured that it wasn't you. So we wanted to give you a call. We uh we gonna um. We gonna get you a new card out in the mm-hmm. mail, so all you gotta do is just give us like just we gotta just um, verify your account. Account number, yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. So like, what's your social? Oh, so I'm like, oh my goodness. So I saw some my last four. They like, well, anybody can get your um your last four. So we need to know the whole thing to verify. So I'm like, can you send me a text? They like, nah, we 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 can, but we need to verify your account first to make sure it's you. I'm like. Some reason, bro, because like they the number they be like, um, like how do I know it's y'all? Yeah. They're like, well, you could tell the number is uh, Navy Federal. You could just Google it, whatever. And and I'm just like, because it was a, it was a Navy Federal number yeah. and everything. Yeah. And something just telling me like, nah, bro, I ain't that phone. Though. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, cool. Um, I appreciate your call, but I'm gonna just hang up and call back because it's nothing against you, not person. Because I'm thinking it's them. Yeah. But what got me was it was a black guy and he, he just sounded irritated Irritate. by the yeah. he sounded irritated when I was asking him questions and usually like. Like they be they be like nice they be more nice you feel like they just yeah. be like yeah I, like it's just it was weird so I'm like man I hung up and I called back and he like yeah that wasn't us yeah, yeah nobody tried to zell or anything bro I was this close to giving him my social That's oh my crazy, god bro. I would have got done nah you gotta be careful with that Chase yo. had me on some like but this it was actually Chase like they called me and it was like yo you try to uh, wire this money X Y and Z da 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 and I'm like how I know you Chase. They mm. said, okay, you could just call back uh, when you want to verify. Hung up. I was locked up my account. Damn. <laughs> they locked me out because they was like, because they called. So I called back and fixed it. But, bro, even when the main bank called me, bro, I'm like, look, I, there's how do I verify that this is wh- who you say you are? If they ain't telling me who they are in the first, mm. bro, I'm hanging up. And I don't even answer. Like, if it's a number that comes on my phone and I don't know, bro, I'm not answering it. Bro, I didn't even know you can do that. Like, they, crazy, they literally bro. called me from a Navy Federal number. It's getting dangerous, bro. That, that AI, was you know they're using your voice now. Bro, that's insane, bro. That's crazy. Okay, so we wrapping up, man. Let's uh Day five, day, day five, five, day five. Day Let five. me Day five is simple though. Let's go. Yo, niggas got bro, niggas, niggas ain't never get this much game, bro. At all, bro. There's not one podcast out there with this much game with me on it. Six figure scaling secrets. All right, so simple. We breaking down how you get to your first six figures. hmm Okay, on YouTube. It's a numbers game. If you know the amount of views you need to make a thousand dollars, you know the amount of views you need to make a hundred thousand mm. dollars. So if we have a five dollar RPM, right, and we know that every time we get a million views, we make five thousand dollars, right? Essentially, that means we need twenty million views to make our first six figures. So, how are we getting twenty million views? Pretty much the whole entire five day process that I put together, but just giving them a real roadmap how many videos to post a week, mm. how to stay on top of your schedule, how to actually analyze and see exactly where your audience is online. How many videos you, should we post a week? So I'm not going to tell people how, because because I'm will tell i going to tell you, but I don't tell people how many videos to post a week because it's not based on that. It's based on the consistency. So think about it like this. YouTube channel, TV channel. That's where they got it from. Mm. So when you come in, when you're going on there and you're doing your whole thing, you're uploading videos, Excuse me, it's just champagne. Yeah, it's a champagne you show. Got me bourbon, bro. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, but uh, when you when you're on your channel, think of it as a, t- a TV show. How how often does that show come on, and what time and day does it come on? Do treat that exactly like your channel, mm. your YouTube channel. So if you got videos dropping on Friday at 6 p.m. every Friday, you have a video up at 6 p.m. If you got videos dropping every Wednesday and Friday, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever the schedule is, stay consistent on it. Mm. So. Of course, the more, now nah, I ain't gonna say the more videos you upload, cause I mean, I got a channel, you know what I'm saying? You got like five, six videos, and it's making a couple thousand dollars a month. We ain't gotta do a lot of videos. If we put more videos out, yes, it'll make more money, 
but I'm a big quality over quantity guy. Right. Personally, I've seen channels that upload every single day and get way more money, right? But you have to understand your your audience and their thresholds. Okay. How much content do they really like to watch? How how much do they really enjoy this content? Well, GTA Money Guys, that's every day. I get posts that every day and people going to tap in because everybody always trying to learn how to make money on that game, right? But with NBA content, I, I can't do that every single day because the amount of quality and the amount of time that goes into that, if I want to do that, I'm going to need a way bigger team and it's going to be different voice actors because it's just going to be too too much, mm. right? So what do I do instead? We do one to two videos a week, Mondays and Fridays, and that's that, or we just do Fridays. Yo, what about, because I'll be saying, um, yeah. do you get, I don't know if you know what it is, are you still able to get monetized when you just post other people's videos? Because I see, like, for example, oh, Undisputed. I see yeah. YouTube channels mm -hmm. who just, just have the videos. Yeah, the Undisputed videos, but it's not Undisputed. But it's the, it's the same like content, might be channel? titled differently or something like that. Mm. Nah, you can't do that. You cannot copy it. You cannot download a video and just upload it to a channel. Mm. And there's a way for you to tell if a channel's monetized. It's a key code. So on your keyboard, I think it's like Command. I don't remember what the code is, but it's command something on, on Mac and it's like alt something on Windows. Mm. When you go on the channel, you click video, or I think you click on the videos tab, then you put that key code in and then it's gonna show this coding that comes up on the screen. And on the search box, you click control Y mm -hmm. and you type in monetization and it'll show you if the monetization code is enabled or disabled. If it's not enabled, if it says the value equals true, or if it says value equals true, that means that it's monetized. If it says value equals false, it's not monetized. Okay. So there's ways that you can see that channel you're probably talking about is probably not monetized. Okay. I was yeah. I be seeing mad channels. With and that's like, what people be, you know what I'm saying? People, because nowadays YouTube don't care. They they put ads on any video, even if it's not monetized. So people be okay. thinking, oh, this is monetized content. But it's really, in general, it's not like, you really got you really to do your due diligence. But that little play, I'm going to throw that in the challenge too, where I'll actually um, show people how to find, like, you know, if channels is monetized or not, so they don't go make the mistake of trying to do the same thing because they see a channel getting millions of views and a channel the whole time and making no money. Facts. That's crazy. Did we what, did we miss anything? Day five. Well, well, I I know sometimes when you go into the end, we like shorten it. We don't have to shorten. That's that's not nah, slight. Nah, that's nah. not slight. We, we going. We going all the way. So, you know what I'm saying? Just that six figures, right? When you get that six figures, because a lot of times people tell you like, hey, you get this money, da 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 da, right? When you get to that six figures. Making sure as you're scaling up, you always putting it back in, mm. right? I'm going to tell you the story. I got a $50 video, the one that made 10 k I took 8000 Not two, now, you know what I'm saying? Not two, 3000 I took 8000 I took that 2700 paid my bills, and took the rest. And I paid for more videos. Mm. I ran up half an M. Half an M. Like, mm. literally, it was like $466,000. Off of all those, now all those videos didn't make 10K. That's absolutely not what I'm saying. Yeah. But on average, they made anywhere from 25 to 3,500, somewhere in there, or sometimes lower, sometimes higher, right? And, it, and that was the result I got. So teaching them once they get there, really investing back into it. You know what I'm saying? I always say just investing in yourself, investing in your business is the best thing you could do. Mm. This year alone, I spent a lot of money, bro. I'm probably at almost $4 million spent this year. Damn, that's crazy. And on my self development, I, and this is not including real estate investments and all that stuff I got going on. We actually about to buy a lounge too, so I'm gonna chat with you about that later. So, because we gonna have to have you pull up, you know, Jay Hill yeah, in the building. Nah, facts. You know what I'm saying this shit crazy. How much it costs to to get like two percent? <laughs> hey, we can tell, we can tell, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Damn. We can get some investors in there. I talked about boy, but we we looking at some stuff. But and invested in myself this year alone. Probably like five hundred thousand, bro. Mm. Like five hundred thousand. I always tell people this, bro. I'm gonna be a billionaire, bro. And I say it so boldly because I'm going to be a billionaire. I'm gonna do everything it takes to do it. If I can make a million dollars a month consistently, I can be a billionaire, bro. This is crazy, bro. Like now, I really want to get the tap man and shit. I'm a tap man. I might not do it myself, but yeah. I'm gonna try to put some things in place where somebody can. Yeah, no, that's easy, bro. You... I got Yo, you. Yo, how can we? All right, so how, 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 where we at, Kyron? We had two hours, bro. That's smooth. I like that. We gave away the uh, the, the whole, e yeah. we gave, we gave away the game plan. Right. 
We gave away the ebooks, ten of them. Let's give away. Let's give away ten more. Let's do ten more. Something else. We go do the. Let's do the list. The hundred list. Ten more. Hundred dollar list. Far. But I'm, bro. I'm, I'm one to reach. I'm reaching right now. We had two hours at very end of the video. If they stay to the very end of the video, Man. can we get a, a a VIP slot? Yeah, you got that, bro. I will give you that. I give you that, bro. Shake on it. Yeah, we good. What they gotta do? Let you make it up. Whatever. Um, should we do the first person to DM me a keyword, or should we do something different? I like that because that means they actually watched the whole thing. Yeah. So, or you know what? Yeah. The whatever. first per. Whatever. I have to see it though, bro, because I get DMs crazy. So maybe we do. They DM you if mm. that makes sense. Or yeah, they DM. I don't know. It gotta be yeah. a way for us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They gotta <laughs> be organized. Part, it's like, hold yeah, because my your DMs crazy yeah, too. So yeah, it has to be a way that they can send us a keyword. What you about to say, Kyrie? No, I said that's kind of stressful for both y'all. Yeah, the DM. Nah, hold up, hold up. But we up. have to do that though. Like, not have to, but like that is like mm. that would make the most sense, bro. Bro, fuck it. Um, I'm not gonna see that DM though. That's no, no, nah, fuck yeah. it. You got a business phone, or you got just oh, no. You got a business phone? I don't. Um, oh shit! We got what, a text now app or some shit. Look, what if what if it's like your first post or something? Somebody comment a keyword on your first post on Instagram. How many okay. posts you got on Instagram? I got a lot, but that's I, I probably would. I got like thirty posts on Instagram. So. What about yours? I got a lot. I got, I got like thirty posts on. I Instagram. got five thousand. No, I, no, I'm sorry. I got three hundred and forty-four. That's not bad. They can scroll. Look, we get so yeah. First, we can just do first. Uh, Would I see that, or you want to do your your first? I just do mine. I see it. The first on my the first post on my page, the first picture post. Do mine because I want to be the. Well, that's I don't a, want that's you, a I don't work. Want, I want to be easy. Finesse. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not saying you would, but yeah, I don't, nah, nah, nah. No, yeah, yeah, no. Nah, okay, do yours. Do yours. Let's do um my first my first post. Your first first post. What would you say? Comment David Omari. Comment David Omari. Or comment at David Omari. So I see the mention. I like that. Yeah. Comment at David so we both Omari. Can see it. On my first, my first post, yeah, he gonna give you a free V. Come on, he gonna give you a free VIP free. entry to his class. Look, bro, we just yeah. gave away so much money. Oh my goodness, bro, this is fucking. This is better than Price Price is Right, bro. This is this this is Oprah right here. This is Oprah right here, man. We just, come on, man. man he just pull, gave. Like, what we do? We, we did we did ten. Um, we did ten of the uh, ebooks for ten the, of the ebooks. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did. We going to do ten. Uh, the top 100 yeah 10 top 100 how are we gonna do that uh i didn't i didn't, I didn't say how we was gonna do that but just repost it I, mean, I, I make it easy fuck it we so the so uh, first person that first post they get the that 100 list and they get the ticket say the less. rest of those people that get there after the the, the next 10 because it's gonna be timestamp okay get the ebook Say less. Okay. So we gave away the uh we giving away ten ebooks. Mm -hmm. We gave away ten um hunt top one hundred uh right. What the is list, it? the niche list, the, the, the niche, niche list. Top one hundred niche list. And a VIP. He got me, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Come on. That's gonna bro. help somebody. For real. Come on, bro. That's crazy. Yo. I think we got everything, bro. Like Man, I think we're gonna have to do a part two, bro. Yeah. We might really have to do that. This is crazy, bro. Yeah. It's hard, bro. I fuck with it. I, I appreciate, appreciate you was even open to, to giving the game away, man. Nah, bro. I appreciate you having me, bro. Nah, this, this is good. This is good. I love this. This, this is dope. This is hard, bro. David Omari. Uh, uh, your Instagram is David, David Omari K, right? Nah, oh. nah, David Omari. Oh, you got, you got... On YouTube, it's David Omari K. Okay. But my Instagram plug. Yo, how much, how much you, um, how much you pay for that, uh, what was it? Million dollars for games. Twenty five. I made five hundred off of it though. In you made twenty five hundred. You paid twenty five hundred. I paid twenty five k and I made five hundred k. For real, bro. I'm, have you seen my Instagram? Yeah, yo. So they, yo. So they, I'm, I'm pocket watching now. So they making twenty five because they do that every episode. They probably charge it more, bro. It depends. Like if you want to get on Drake, like. That's like fifty, maybe more, bro. If you want to get on who? Like if if like, cause the the play with that is getting on with a popping person. Okay, who 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 was you on it with? That's two times. I got lucky. Okay. Yeah, I got real Damn, lucky. Damn, so they getting twenty five upwards. But the the bread you making is stupid, bro. So it's it's like that, like the the. It's like that. Look, I don't know if you saw this post. 
It's a carousel, bro. So, you know, it'd be a lot of cap online for real, bro. I'm not with that. You feel me? Damn. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. You see the date? Yeah. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to see Instagram. I need to see the uh, account. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. That's something I can't do. Woo! I need to see you that gonna account. look at me different. You can be like, bro. Hey, Ramel, Ramel and Smitty did it. I know they did. I know they did. I seen it. I think I watched it. I watched yeah. a little bit, but I was like, bruh. I don't show I don't, bro. I don't need only to God and my wife know what's in my enough. account. You gave me enough. It's, cool. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my goodness, that's like a. Yee. It's fine. You gave me enough. Yeah, bro. That's 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 fine. Damn, bro. This is fire. Um, yeah. damn, bro. I asked for so much. Next time I get one of these entrepreneurs on here, I'm gonna ask for some money for like a homeless person or something. Mm. I ain't gonna ask you because you gave me you gave me enough you gave yeah, me enough. Yeah. Next person, what we gonna do, MJ? Like, I need a thousand dollars for a homeless person. Just like a thousand dollars. Niggas making so much money. Just give me a thousand dollars for a homeless person. You can come with me. I don't need the money. I don't, I don't want it. You know what I mean? I just wanna give it to somebody. This is great, bro. Uh, yeah. David Omari on Instagram. Hey, hey the, tap into the virtual event, man. You know what I'm saying? I know I gave y'all a blueprint, but. Let's spend some time together. I want to meet y'all face to face. It's more impactful that way. That so, was hard. Yeah. And this, this was worth it. If, yeah. if if you really believe that, yeah. this was worth it. Well, yeah, bro. I like how you did. That was. Yeah, bro. So tap in. He, I'm sure you're gonna link it in the description. Um, YTAChallenge.com. Mm. Tap in, bro. We gonna we gonna be there waiting for y'all. <laughs> you feel me? That's all we got, man. David Omari, Mr. J Hill. What is it, two hours? We gave y'all two hours of no non-stop game. This is my longest podcast. We gave y'all two. I think this this is not my longest podcast, but my longest podcast here with this straight business game. Yeah, yeah bro. Come on, man. J Hill, J Hill Podcast, David Omari. It's a wrap. We out. Damn, we just gave you two hours. We gave these niggas two hours of.